Well, let's do it. All right. So I'm going to get this thing moving. And this has been a while coming. I built this with Brandon, you guys. And you guys have, a lot of you have met him and chatted with him. And he's going to come on, I think, near the end of the call. But he's in the question box right now. And um, Brandon Hayes is the, uh, I've been teasing him, calling him the 17-year-old whiz kid. I've been having all kind of fun with names. But a really good dude. And uh, we'll bring him out later in the call. And we're going to get into a more formal presentation around his strategy and his blueprint method. So uh, excited for that, you guys. And uh, with that being said, I'm just going to dig right into it. Um, uh, and Scott, uh, let me answer Scott's question. Um, it's a good question. And I want to share this. Uh, Scott from Michigan, um, he said, hey, Brian, is branded system similar to Robbie uh, Blanchard's? And Robbie's the guy with the uh, the number one ClickBank affiliate um, out there. And, and truly, no, it's not really similar at all. Um, this is more passive. There's no paid traffic. There's no, uh, I'll get into what it is and isn't in just a second, but the answer is no on that, but uh, super cool. Um, all right, let's do it. So I know you guys all know me, but we're going to do this webinar a few times with people that don't know each other. So if we don't know each other, um, I don't know where I took this picture at. Uh, maybe a conference room. It might have been the the Matrix live event. I can't tell what room that's in, but uh, the the bot event we did. So I run an agency here in Atlanta, just south of the city, and uh, I've got a few kids. I've got my fifth grader is finishing up the last, so that'll be the last of my elementary. And then I've got a middle school going to high school, an eleventh grader who's a friend of Brandon's, and then I have a daughter in college. And uh, do a little bit of this and that for a long time online and uh, excited to actually implement myself what Brandon's doing. This is probably, and I'll be honest, I don't implement every single thing that I find. There are a lot of cool things that don't fit me and my business. This one does because it's like another revenue stream. It's somewhat passive. It just kind of plugs in nicely for me. Um, all right, so I want to, for those of you that have been around a while, how many of you said you've been marketing online for a long time? I had to quantify. <laughs> so I had to figure out when did I, when did I first kind of hit the big time money wise? And it was really nine years. So I know a lot of you, uh, let me know, how long have you been marketing online in one way or another? Um, so. Now, I'll be honest. I actually, if I'm really honest, I got super lucky, made like a couple hundred thousand dollars in the first six months, and then didn't make anything for nine years. So I don't know how to write that in a bullet, but that would be a more accurate representation of the truth. Because um, I flipped a bunch of domain names in 94 to 90, say six, and I had a little ebook that did really well. But then there was a long period of time when I just did eh, so so, right? 20 years, Charles said. Too long, Christy. Hey, Darce. Darce said four and a half. Imelda, welcome. You're going to love this. Imelda, I want to call you out, and I'm going to make Imelda the first winner today. So, Vanessa, if you can, Imelda Pines. Imelda said, I'm a newbie. I've never done it. So, Imelda, we're going to give you a gift card as well on the call uh, for participating. And what's cool is I know we don't know each other, but I, I, I love the transparency. Uh, Lorena said less than a year and uh, 23 years. My friend Dave Mason, who's here in uh, Peachtree City, right near me. So it took me nine other than some initial luck. And I actually went back. Jeff Smith and I were, were doing some work for a bio we were doing. And I figured out, not counting Media Mash or Peachtree SEO, I've sold a little over 40, like is 42 or 3 million online. And that starts at the beginning for me, um, including profit from flipping domains and selling e-com and eBay, everything, a little over 40 million. Now, what's kind of funny is I'm having this conversation and just because you sold over 40 million doesn't mean you made 40 million net. Always watch out. The e-com guys are the biggest abusers of this one. Um, by no means did I net 40 million. If I did, um, I would, I would be, wow, man, would I be smiling? I tell you. So 
pretty crazy, right? This is revenue, not net. I netted a nice chunk, don't get me wrong, but uh, my wife was like, what do you mean 40 million? I'm like, well, let me explain gross and, and net. <laughs> so I didn't start out that way, just like a lot of you. Um, and I got a good email from a friend that's struggling right now, and I can relate. I had more bills than I could shake a stick at. I was in debt on one of my credit cards in college near the end, like $2,300. And a lot of you may say, oh, that's nothing. I owe way more than that, right? Um, well, when you make $3 an hour, when you make three thirty-five an hour, owing 2000 some odd dollars while you're a student is a massive amount of money. And you didn't really know how to handle the stress and pressure. You guys, we've all been there. This is one of my uh, houses I lived at, right, with uh, my parents before they got divorced. Uh, this was, a, I stole it off a real estate site. This was the address I had when I was like in elementary school. And, um, you know, I grew up, my dad was a soldier in the army, um, which my family has been really active in the military back pre-revolutionary war. One side's been here since the six, late 16, early 1700s. And what's interesting is they've always been kind of soldiers, you know, no, no generals, nothing like that, but uh, just just guys doing their part, right? And uh, it encouraged me to kind of go into military after high school. I did the reserves and did it. I got an army scholarship. And, you know, it took me a long time. It took me to my mid, probably my early 20s. I didn't even realize that I was poor. <laughs> my mom, credit to my mom, did such a good job. I had no idea that we were, you know, I knew we weren't rich, but I didn't realize how poor I was. Um, which is kind of cool, you know, and, and if you grew up that way, you can thank your parents for sure, no matter what, right? Um, I used to mow grass. Um, I, I had the lawnmower, $5 in the front, $10 for the backyard. And then one day I scored a job at a friend of mine. His dad was like a GM of uh, Burger King, a couple locations, and I got a job working here in three thirty-five an hour, let me tell you. Crazy, right? So, all right. Fast forward from three bucks an hour on the left. I took my family to Spain. That's Barcelona on a cruise last, I think it was last year. And then, yeah. And then right after that, I came home from the cruise and I had a marketing conference I went to in Ireland and I brought Rebecca and my two youngest girls. So it's like a, a big change for me from not having two nickels to rub together to fly in, you know, across around the world, really. And, it, and it's been exciting. It's allowed me to volunteer. Uh, a lot of you that have been around a while and we've been on webinars together, you know I ran for and won the school board in 2016. I am literally um, running for re-election right now. And here's my debate. I, got, I haven't shaved for like two and a half weeks, almost three weeks during the uh, pandemic. And I've been having so much fun seeing why my, the – the goatee is white and the, the mustache is, is blackish brown. And uh, But I have to film some videos for my re-election campaign. And I'm like, I think I need to shave it all off. But um, So I volunteered on the school board, you guys, if you didn't know that. Um, and through that, I actually met Brandon a long time ago. And, well, long for him, not that long for me. He's at the end of 11th grade. This is Christmas of his 10th grade year right around Christmas, January, I think. And I was helping him on a science fair blockchain project. And I wasn't really that much help, but I had a blockchain development team in Argentina that was building a, a currency platform I worked on. And I ended up shelving the platform because I didn't like the state of the whole ICO thing. It just, it didn't feel good, but I, I backed down and got rid of it. But I met Brandon who in 10th grade, I bet you guys don't know this story, he builds his own blockchain crypto science fair project, of course wins first place and goes on to district where I think he also won first place. So pretty uh, pretty cool, right? Um, and this is how I met this guy. Um, or I say this guy, at this time he's 15 still. And at the end of the meeting, you know, the teacher sponsor was there the end of the meeting, he, he it, it goes like this. He um, he started telling me about some of the stuff he was doing with internet marketing, and it was still new, relatively new for him. 
And I was like, wow, this man, I like this guy. I mean, he's he was such a go getter. Right. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, you haven't been on any of our pre calls. It's a high school student. And I'm going to introduce him and tell you about him. And and then at the end, we're going to bring him out. But um, and I'll tell you why I didn't have him on at the beginning. And you'll understand in just a second. It'll make total sense. Um, all right. So. You know, when I realized he was in 10th grade. Now, at the time, I'm 40. Let's see if I'm 48 now. I would have been 47, right? And he's in 10th grade. Now, I actually have a son at the same high school in 10th grade. And I go, hey, I, I my son David, some of you guys know. I'm like, hey, do you know this kid? And, and, I, and I, I mean respectfully, but this kid, Brandon Hayes. And David gets back to me and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's a real smart dad. I like him. We're friends. And I'm like, okay, so this is Brandon, right? And uh, I tell you this with all sincerity, probably one of the smartest marketers I've met, smartest marketers I've met in the last couple of years, right? Six figures online in high school, beginning, I guess, at the end of ninth, beginning of 10th grade to now. And like most kids, Started playing video games online, right? I guess I started playing video games in the 80s too. There was no online, but I played a lot of games. He met some people earning money. He kind of learned what they were doing, kind of expanded into that, and he's really done well. Um, if you haven't met him, this this is him. And Some of you guys were at one of our live events, and he was there, and I know uh, a few of y'all chatted. Um, so watch this. And... And I'm going to tell you why I'm talking to not him in a, in a second. And you're going to laugh because you're going to understand. So I'm talking to Brandon and this is his background. This is not me, you guys. Um, I'm just credit to me for finding um, happen chance a little bit. Somebody just completely destroying it, really destroying it. Um, so the guy was making nothing in early 2018, back in the old days for him, right? So we're talking two years. So he's 15. He's spending hours and hours a day after school, late at night. He's working with people on the internet, and they really didn't give him the time of day. Imagine that, right? So this next bullet is from Brandon. Does anybody know what IRL is? Anybody? Let's see. Anybody? All right. All right. So I'm a clueless idiot. Jeremy out of the gate and Kristen and Darcy in real life. Yeah, I had no idea. I looked it up when he shared it with me. <laughs> so he had no connections really in real life and no one had given him any money, investments, nothing. Um, all right. So I believe that. So in November, so fast forward later in the year, he had built a website online, you know, he's a coder kind of guy, right? He builds this website in the food and recipe niche, started posting articles. He put ads on his site. Boom. Yes, he's making 30 cents. And uh, I took this quote. He said, honestly, Brian, I was about to give up. I'm probably going to go do something else with my time. Right. And when he said that, I had to chuckle. Right. Um, all right. Thank, thank you, Christy. I was working on fixing that. Um, <laughs> I'm probably going to do something else with my time. Now, mind you, I guess he's in 10th grade. Let's see, 10th. That would be uh, fall of 10th grade right now, right? But all of a sudden, everything changed. Now, you got to understand, I don't know him. I'm meeting him through Science Fair, and then uh, he's a friend of my son's. Uh, you know, well, they weren't best friends, but they knew each other. And he's telling me this story. And he's like, he knew, he knew that David and I, we go on cruises and stuff. And he said, look. Um, Brian, I went on a cruise and before you ask, these are his sisters. That's his twin sister on the left and his older sister on the right. And so his family had gone on a cruise, which super cool, right? His family goes on this cruise and mind you, he's about to give up and quit. And finally he made big money. This is as close as who he could, as to anything he could find from the first couple of weeks of when he made money. This is the earliest screenshot he was able to find for me. And you can see he made $42 yesterday, $97 for the month. 
which is also his lifetime earnings of $97. Okay. So as we look at all this, you're thinking, I don't know about real money, but you know what, you guys, this kid's in 10th grade. 10th grade, he knocked down $100 in a month online. I'm, I'm impressed by that, but it gets better, right? Um, he quickly realized what was going on. He, he kind of connected the dots and he saw how he could replicate over and over again and scale past, you know, 10, 20, $50 a day to thousands. And that's when it got interesting. The reality is he had kind of determined or decoded that strategy that gets these clicks, this traffic, so that he could replicate and rinse and repeat. Um, and honestly, like Doug Stark said, Brian, that was big bucks for me when I was at his age. And Doug, I agree. I got to be honest. I, when I was 15, $50 was like 15, 16 hours of work. And that's gross. So, all right, super cool, right? It really got shocking, I think, to him personally, because I wasn't there, right, when he had this revelation. The only limit on income was how many sites he could create and mirror the process. And, you know, in essence, the more sites were more money. Um, and I got to work on the nouns and pronouns, you guys. I, I see some mistakes because you got to understand. When he wrote some of the content for me, I'm changing it because he may not always be here. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Um, every site he built had an initial advantage and they would get shared across this social media platform, Pinterest, that we've shared with you, right? Right now, fast forward to this year, he's been between 12 and 45 a month, um, depending on whether he's sold off a website, whether he's, you know, where he's at in a ramp up stage. That's in one month. Um, not millions of dollars, but this is real, right? This is, this is, this is straight up real from a kid in high school. Uh, Ellen, no, this is live. Um, hi, Ellen Fields. And, uh, let's make Ellen Fields a winner because, um, man, I must be doing good. She thought it was recorded. So Ellen, you just want a gift card. Um, so now you'll really remember it was real. <laughs> so, um, and a shout out to, uh, a shout out to Kat, who made $1.60 an hour when she was 16. $1.60, right? All right. So why is he, you know, why may he not be here? Anybody know why he may not be on the call and why I'm writing it, why I'm changing the tense and the, uh, the first, third person grammar, et cetera? Who knows why? Yeah. Scott Hall, right? Hey, he's at school, you guys. If he's not on the call, he has to go to high school. I had him send me his schedule just so I could see what he was taking. And uh, he has an internship with us, which is, I think, two classes. He's got, he takes U.S. history, accelerated calculus. That sounds painful. Advanced placement physics. That's very painful. Advanced placement computer science and advanced placement English, uh, English composition. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, yeah, all right. I'd rather be here too. He's at school, right? Um, super smart. Um, no, his school's not open, but he's doing school online, you guys. Uh, we've got one-to-one -one technology in the county. And so he is doing like Zoom meetings and assignments and stuff remotely. But I think he's going to sneak on during the Q&A, I promise. So this is his schedule, right? This is his schedule. Um, well, Patrick, he said, why isn't he taking marketing? And Patrick, my son take, takes business marketing in high school, but it's, it's a questionable value, truthfully. And Brandon is doing a two hour internship every day here. And I promise he's getting more out of it that way. Um, yeah, so, so he's here. All right. Right. So this is why I'm writing it so that I can do the call without him because more than likely he may have the, these classes or maybe something else. So, um, Brandon, are you here by chance or no? Let me see. Find out, you guys. Yeah, he, he is, but he's muted. So uh, I will bring him out later. So this is um, Brandon and I, this picture. And uh, I renamed him to be a 17-year-old whiz kid. I figured I could have fun with it. Um, but 
Let's see. All right, I'm going to move on. Um, what we're going to do on the call is give you everything you need to give yourself a raise. Create your own online income stream. I didn't make that up. Um, Vanessa said, honestly, Brian, this is phenomenal. Um, this is phenomenal. And I don't care if you don't have any special skills. I don't care if you've never taken AP computer science, you've never had calculus, and you don't take AP physics. It's okay. I don't care if you don't have website experience, social media experience, right? So. Oh, Jeff Gitlin. Jeff said, Brian, I can get 3 million monthly view views on Pinterest and I haven't made a thing. Oh, Jeff. Pay it oh, yeah. <laughs> Your position for some real success, Jeff. Um, all right. So even if you don't have these skills, and I started thinking, you don't have to understand. And this is why it fits in with what I'm doing right now. You don't have to understand or even learn about some other things. I don't care if you know anything about Facebook. There's a, a guy that comes to some of the webinars, hates Facebook, won't join any of the member groups because he doesn't like Facebook. So you don't need you don't need to have Facebook ads, Facebook ads, paid traffic. Nope, none of them. What else? You don't need clients. While I have an agency and that's like my core business because I want to resell it, you don't need clients for this. This is why it fits so nicely as an add-on for me. You don't have to be good at sales. As a matter of fact, you're not actually going to speak to anyone ever. And that includes via email, on the phone, via text, ever. You're not going to make a product. Let me repeat that. It's a big one. Because when we were doing the warm-up calls over the last four or five months, and a lot of you know, Brandon just started helping people, giving stuff away. I mean, super nice guy. You don't have to make a product ever. Not once, ever. Hey, will you guys give me a quick audio check? Thomas said, uh, audio is lost. Can you hear us okay? Hey, I got my audio to work. Hey, Brandon. Awesome, man. Welcome. Well, stay tuned because I'm telling them they don't need a product. They don't need a list, right? They don't need yeah, they any don't, affiliates. Yeah. And Brandon, do you have... Have you ever worked with affiliates? Have you ever made a product, talked to clients, paid for Honestly, traffic? I don't even know how. Like if, if I went and called up a bunch of restaurants or something, I don't even know what I would say. So that's like the last thing I could do. Yeah, think about it, guys. Awesome. So, all right. This is what you don't need to do. And I'm going to get in, of course, to Lorena's question, what we do need to do. And it's it's not hard. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain it from my perspective. And then Brandon's going to come in and answer your questions. He'll answer some of them on the Q&A, but he'll come in live at the end and answer specific ones. So I want you to go ahead and ask, and I'll go through this. It won't take a lot of time, and then we'll get into all your questions. But this is important. When I first met him, and I'm like, well, yeah, let me see your course. He's like, I don't have a course. <laughs> I go, what? I, well, you're talking about email lists and stuff. He goes, no, Brian, I don't have any emails. So I'm getting really interested and I'm thinking this guy's a paid traffic master. And I'm like, I need another traffic source. And he's like, no, no, I don't run any ads and I'm just cracking up. So just stay, stay tuned, right? Stay tuned, you guys. This is not, this is going to be unlike any webinar I suspect you've ever been on. This is, Brandon's not a guru. He's, I call him a doer or a whiz kid. He makes all his money selling not products to customers. He makes all his money doing what we're talking about here. 99.999% of his money comes from doing what we're talking about, not selling anything. And everything you will see in here is based firsthand on what he does. Completely firsthand. All right. So, and keep firing it in. I see Sue Brown. Great question. We'll come back to all those. So let me get to the point, right? Direct. These are the exact strategies Brandon uses to make up to. That does not mean he makes that consistently every month. Up to. And for the record, your results will vary. You will make between zero and possibly more than Brandon each and every month, right? All right. So this is the real deal. I, I got some random old screenshots from one of his ad networks that he sent me. And he sent me tons and tons of stuff. But what I liked about this one from one... Uh, 
from one ad network is it showed $80,000. Now, what's interesting, you can see in June of 19, he made 15000 right? That's on one source. Go to the next column. June of 19, it says 10700 Now, Brandon, are these different sites or different ad networks since you're here? Yeah, they're, di they're different ad networks. You can see on the left, you have media.net. Um, we do use AdSense, but we use a, uh, we, we do use a kind of like a reseller of AdSense, but AdSense works fine. And then also you can see ClickBank. So not a lot of people know about ClickBank and how you can make money. Well, we kind of promote stuff on and off um, with different products. And we make, you know, a couple hundred dollars a day just from, from ClickBank. And those are like the, the, the two ways that we monetize. I love it. But guys, so if you look at June of 19, he was 26,000 in change. Not bad. He was sitting around 110,000 for the year. I got to be honest. So I had an MBA from Notre Dame in my, my, I was making about 85,000 and I was into my career a few years and I was making about 110 and that he was halfway through the year, by the way. So pretty, pretty amazing. You can see in July, he was sitting around uh, 16,000 partial month, right? Of last year. So, all right, stay with me, stay with me. So interested, and I can tell by the questions and comments you are, um, it's going to be less than 30 minutes and then we're going to answer all the questions you want. And, and I'll be honest, um, we've done a bunch of free training on this, but I think we got like 300 people asking us to make a product. So I got permission from Brandon's work study teacher to shift what we were doing so that we can actually build this product. I had to actually ask for permission to do this. So we're going to go through this right now. Now, here's what we're going to cover, right, directly, four topics. So I want you to know what we're going to speak about. And it won't be hard to follow. It won't be confusing. Why creating money sites, right, are the easiest ways to make money online? Why, why creating these sites are just plain easy? Two, the three things you need to do to make at least 600 a month from one copy and paste site. Now, you may say 600 a month, that doesn't sound like that much. What's the very end of this sentence say? <laughs> well, it says at one. least. Yes, but right, Brandon? One. Exactly. One. Just one. All right, Arthur Morris, you get a gift card. So he was fast. Arthur, uh, he was the first to answer. We appreciate you. Vanessa, if you can help Arthur. Um, next, how to get thousands of clicks a day and convert those clicks instantly. Brandon, I don't know if you saw, maybe you can write him back privately, but earlier in the call, there was somebody doing monster traffic online every month that he can't seem to convert. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely follow up during the q and I'll have to find it, you guys. Now, this is traffic, thousands of clicks. And then maybe the important thing we're going to talk about, and this is where I've had a hang up before on this one, how you can completely skip writing your own content and right and social media templates, right? And spend your time on getting traffic. There's it's like a triangle, and one of the parts of the triangle to this method are kind of laborious and not very fun. So the goal is to skip the not fun part and focus on the fun part. Um yeah, it was Jeff Gitlin. Hey, Jeff. All right. So this is who we're aiming the call at today. If you're an employee, you have a job, a day job, and maybe you're moonlighting or maybe you're working from home right now and you don't have time to start your own business, but you want to make some side income, maybe enough to pay off a credit card debt or a car payment, whatever. Or you're a business owner. Maybe you own a restaurant, right? And we'll, maybe you own a, a, a gym, whatever. You can't handle more clients right now, but you still want to make an extra few K. My brother, who owns an HVAC company you guys have met, he's always looking for ways to make more money because he has a lot of seasonality in his business. Or maybe this is you, and I know there's a lot of these, and I want you to have faith, and we'll talk about it during the Q&A. If you're kind of a preneur, a kind of preneur, and you haven't found what really works for you, you love shiny objects and you chase them, right? You're, you're the best chaser out there. Well, you're going to love this. And then lastly, this is kind of me, and this is my strategy. If you're an agency owner and you think with a business mindset, 
And you want to build up these sites and flip them. And you build up a site geez, and sell it for a few grand. Doesn't have to be a lot. I'm not looking to make home runs. I'm looking for lots of singles, right? And I'm going to talk about that as well on the call. Very important wherever you're at. All right, so let's go. Next, how many of you have ever seen these signs? Give me a one if you've seen these signs in your town. Where we live in Atlanta, where Brandon and I live, the zoning is so tough, they'd rip them down within minutes. But in Atlanta proper, you can find these kind of signs for sure. Lots of people. All the time, Lorena said, Chet, Nadine, right? Um, I kind of like Nadine. She said one plus. I think that means a lot. Okay. Now, watch this. The whole concept here, these are real estate investors that are trying to buy houses at wholesale and take a worn down, maybe even decrepit property like the one on the right. Um, and then what do they want to do? They want to put in some TLC like you see on the uh, Home and Garden channel, right? They want to do it. They want to do the work or hire it out. They want to build this into a valuable asset to sell. They might even double their investment or triple, right? You never know, right? They're going to make money flipping it. They're rehabbing it, right? So I'm going to tell you a secret. That's my, that's my goal here. The angle for me, and I'm not here to push it on anybody else, imagine building up simple websites like Brandon's doing and not even trying to make 40 grand. Tough, I don't care. I don't even try. What if you could just make, Brandon, how realistic, Brandon, I'm going to put you on the spot. How realistic is it for somebody to make with the site $150 a month? Be honest, please. That is that is like the lowest that my sites make. Like if you look at like the range on the high end, you're looking at like thousands of dollars. And on the low end, you're looking at, I mean, usually at least $300 a month. Okay, at least $300. And uh, Jeremy said, Brian, I see where you're going. Okay, well, watch this, Jeremy. So at least $300 a month. I said $100. What if I told you, you guys, here are two examples. And I picked non-U.S., because everybody, how many of you are not in the United States right now? Tell me where you're from. If you're in the U.S., don't comment so I can find the non-U.S.ers. I picked one in Australia that makes $84 a month. It sold for $3,750. And then I found another site, AdSense-based, both of them, that makes $94 a month that sold for $2,500. I picked Australia and India, Canada, England. Hey, Ryan in Rotterdam. Eros in Thailand, Mexico, get my friend Gary in Mexico, UK, France, David, Scotland, Austria, Canada, New Zealand, Philippines. Uh, Jeremy said, dreaming of being in the Philippines. Mwande in South Africa, Brisbane, uh, Simon, all over the place. Haiti, John Wallace, Paul Lester, about 30 minutes up the street from me. So, all right, watch. Brandon, making $100 a month, you would say, obviously, there are no guarantees in anything, is extremely, extremely reasonable, right? Yes. Okay. So, guys, and I'm going to teach this strategy later, not on this call, but I want to show you my angle. Imagine hitting singles. Scott Hall and I have chatted about this when he was down here, hitting singles. Now, imagine, here's a site. Less than a year old, makes about $4,800 a month. It hasn't sold yet. They're asking $80,000. You starting to see where my head is? All right. Yeah, and we're going to answer all your questions. So I don't want you to take this the wrong way. You will not make money overnight. Let me be very clear. You will make zero the first day, zero. You're going to need a few days for traffic to build up. And it's going to have to skyrocket, right, before you're going to get a massive return. You're not going to simply come on board and clone what Brandon's doing, click button and make money. That is not true. You will not be successful. Don't ever think that. And whenever somebody tells you that, honestly, you should really just get off the call because it's a waste of your time and I'd hate to see you waste your money. You will have to do some work. 
And you'll have to, if you've been on my instant reply call, you'll have to have some consistency before you're going to really hit it. You don't need to have any money to spend on ads, not even $1. No Facebook ads, no Google, no YouTube, no nothing. The traffic is completely free. It's long term, long term and sustainable. Brandon, uh, what has it been? So two and a half years, you've been using the traffic source for a, a cost of zero dollars per month, right? I've never paid. I've never paid Pinterest or any other ad um, or like paid ads platform before. Yeah. So, guys, straight up, there is no paid ads. Here's what's unique, and I did my best to crystallize out of working with Brandon this last nine, 10 months. Here's what's unique. To make money, you need traffic. It's just like in local. To get clients, you need leads. To make money online, you need traffic. At the end of the day, that person, he or she, who can get traffic at will is the person who will make money online. Fact. That is a fact, okay? Next, our strategy, I worked my name into R, Brandon's strategy, generates thousands of clicks a day on demand. It's predictable and it works on demand, right? And once you get traffic under control, once you get that part of the equation, I know I wasn't going to talk about calculus, but I never said I wouldn't get into algebra. What about eighth grade pre-algebra? I'm going to give you a mathematical equation that involves traffic and monetization. But once you get there, you're guaranteed based on the, the what these ad networks pay to make at a minimum $10 per thousand clicks once you get there. And this is following the system, right? And I know $10 isn't a lot of money, but what if you're getting a thousand clicks a day? And what if you made $10 a day, 30 days, that's $300 and that's one website. Brandon, $10 a day is a reasonable attainable goal for anybody, fair? Yeah, for sure, yeah. All right. Who knows what this is? First one to get it right. Let's see. Lorena Stanley. And you know what? I have to go with Lorena and Kat. Uh, Vanessa, because Lorena got it right. I was looking for a money tree, and it is. But it is in the family of the bonsai, so I'm going to give Kat a gift card also because they're both correct. Um, and I And I have to ask. Doug, you and I are almost the same age, right? Ever heard, Doug, when you were growing up of a money tree or anybody else? You ever heard of a money tree growing up? Look, when I was a kid, my parents, uh, namely my mother, would always tell me something, right? She'd always say, yeah, it is not, um, it is not marijuana. Money doesn't grow on trees. My mother said that to me once. It was a thousand times. Money doesn't grow on trees, right? Well, guess what? Look at this. Gerald Johnson, man. I'm going to share this out, Gerald. Gerald actually knew the exact kind of tree, and he, he is correct, of course. Um, so it's a money tree. And when I was a kid, I used to imagine what a money tree would look like. You got to understand, there's no internet in the 1980s. I, I didn't have Google. And uh, when I was like 12 or 13, and I'm trying to figure out what the heck a money tree would look like, this is what I used to think about, right? Little house on the prairie, but it was a big tree. So, all right. Did you know, online, on the internet, there are actually the digital equivalent of money trees? How many of you knew that? That there are money trees online? All right. So good. A lot of people said yes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show you what one looks like. And this is an example of a quote unquote money site. How many of you have heard the phrase money site and you just sort of, yeah, I kind of know what they mean. If you know what it is, you're hundred percent. Give me a one. If you're not really sure what they mean, when somebody says money site or you read it, give me a two if you're not really sure what the heck that means, money site, if you don't mind. All right, I'm getting a decent amount of twos. Brandon, do you mind explaining um, what a money site might be? And then we'll go to some examples. 
Yeah, so what a money site is, is essentially a website that, I mean, in, in like the most basic form makes you money. And so the way that we monetize the money site is through either ads or affiliate net or like affiliate marketing or um, anything like that where you can actually monetize the website. And so what we do is it's almost like a magazine, but on the internet. Like I'm sure that you see them all on Facebook. And what they do is they try to aim to capture people who are, um, you know, like clicking, it's almost like clickbait, right? It's that viral content that you just wanna really click on. Well, that's exactly what we do. And that's really how um, you kind of build out one of these things. It's, it's really not hard. It's just about consistency. All right, I love it. So absolutely a lot of people mean different things, right? All right, so here's some examples. How many of you seen these websites where they have all these crazy, almost spammy looking ads all over them? Um, Clickbaity headlines. Um, we've all seen them, right? You've seen them, I've seen them. Yeah, right? Here's one, a random one. Um, here's another one on tiebreaker. And this is clickbaity. Bottom left, 21 celebrities who are gay that you probably didn't know and they show a picture of two girls. You know, it's designed to get guys to click on it more than likely, right? Or that neuropathy picture of the foot, right? Um, or there's a real attractive female golfer, Paige uh, Spiranak, right? These are designed to generate ad revenue. And that's what they're doing here. Total clickbait. But for every one of these you see, how many of you... Yeah, here's even more. I had more... Uh, Stunning bikinis ad, uh, one cup of this helps rapid fat loss, right? All this kind of stuff, right? It's clickbaity designed to get you to click on it. Yeah, I hate them. No, you do not have to do this with what we're doing at all, okay? So how many of you, okay, there are some of you that watch CNN. Well, I was on CNN. This is CNN.com. And when you scroll down far enough on the page, when you scroll down on the page, you see ads on CNN, right? You see ads. So, guess what? CNN is making money, right? All right. And here's Fox. Not to be outdone, Fox does the same thing. Sponsored stories right? They all do it. All of them. So yes, the spammy looking ads on websites are designed to transform that website into a money tree, really. They may use CPA or cost per action. They really require nothing to throw off cash. They require almost nothing. These ads on these sites, right? Don't take water, right? I told you it's like a tree. No care and feeding, no coding experience, no selling, no products. You need one thing. Do you guys remember what you need for the ad to throw off money? What do you need? Remind me, somebody. Traffic. Exactly. You need traffic. Everybody got it instantly. Well, money sites have actually worked forever. I'm going to have to go back and quantify the very beginning of when they really were coming around, but they've been around since the beginning. And Brandon gave me this analogy and I, I wrote this down. First it was newspapers, then radio, then TV, and now we have websites, right? Making money with websites is the oldest method on the internet. And over time, you'd have to spend years, uh, many months, if not years, ranking sites with SEO or, or building up a social media presence, right? All this stuff. What we're talking about basically pushes the accelerator pedal down on making money with websites to the point where we can bring sites to several hundred dollars a month, if not more, over and over again. And that's that's kind of the, the strategy. Now, what the money site becomes an online platform. And you may say, what, what do you mean by platform, Brian? A platform, kind of like an email list, a Facebook group, it gives you the ability to sell or generate revenue when you want. Your house, your rules, right? 
if it if it's your your house, right? You can do what you want. If you've made money but not consistently, this is probably the root cause. You don't have a platform that you can control. You don't have the platform. So building money sites is the quickest way to build yourself a platform and then start making money consistently from now on, right? So you have the platform and you just add traffic. So five ways to profit. Ad networks. And we'll answer your specific questions on the call. I promise you, every one of them. I'm not going to interrupt where I'm at, but we will come back, okay? Copy and paste an ad network code into your website. When a visitor clicks on these ads, you get paid. All right, easy. Next, affiliate marketing. We're all familiar with that. You can promote or endorse other people's products. You can put sponsored links or banner ads, right? You can do webinars, you know, boom, you can make money that way. Ecom, if you've got a physical or a digital product that you want to sell, you can advertise it right on the site. Another way, a fourth way, leads. Building up email lists through uh, opt-in, right? You can do that. And Flippa, I talked about that because I got really excited on that angle as well, where you can, you've all been to Flippa. If you haven't, go check it out. You can build websites, um, build them up, and then flip them for anywhere from $1,000 or $2,000 to many, much, much more. Now, what if I told you you can, you can monetize and be reasonably successful, probably as far as most of you want, with just one method, just number one. And these are just other methods to amplify your results, right? All right. Brandon, out of all these, what would you say is your, uh, David Bennett was asking, what do you think is your primary method? So ad networks is, is uh, my primary method. But of course, I mean, especially like in certain niches, the other ones work really, really well too. And actually maybe even better than ad networks. But for me, I kind of like ad networks because they predictably can and consistently make money. And they're always like the ad network is like flipping through the best converting ads so that you don't have to go and find them out, find them for yourself. Um, but I've been thinking about like, and I'm in the early stages of this, of selling sites on Flippa and actually like making a couple thousand dollars per one of the sites that I create. So I, I grow the site and then I sell it on Flippa and then I make like a couple thousand dollars and just do that over and over. And it's just a really good way to consider making money from this too. Yeah, no, and that's where my head is. I mean, I, I as we talked about, um, I love it. Guys, so with one way, and Brandon was honest on the way that he's primarily used, but not only, um, and you know, like he mentioned Flippa, look, a couple thousand dollars from a site is very, very common, right? And look, the reserve is five thousand. They've already got three bids at three thousand dollars already, right? All right. So every website, right? It's about traffic. It's exponential, right? You have to get that growth in traffic. You have to get the growth in traffic and ad revenue. The longer you hold a website, the more money you will make. And we'll talk about it. And I'll let Brandon talk about it with viral posts. These posts achieve massive growth in a short amount of time. The more you post, the bigger the chance of kind of hitting a, a lottery ticket or a, you know, if you're ever at the casino in Vegas, I know some of you live in Vegas, you play that Wheel of Fortune game and you're like, Wheel of Fortune and it's going nuts. Happens all the time, right? About one out of every 20 or 30 spins. You're looking for, you're looking for certain posts that just sort of take off. Now, as I was talking to Brandon, I was figuring out how the heck, how did he discover this strategy, right? And, you know, I pieced it together because if you remember at the beginning of the call, he was with his sisters and his parents. He was on a cruise when he was in, I guess this is the end of ninth grade for you, Brandon, um, I'm guessing. And so if you remember back then, what I didn't tell you earlier is before the cruise left port, before the cruise left port, Brandon had met a couple guys online. He was active in different forums and groups, and they were making a lot of money. Call it 500 plus a day with Pinterest. And 
I don't know if they gave you the recipe, Brandon, or you just kind of figured it out, but you copied their strategy. And this is in Brandon's words. He said, I created a crappy site in the food and drink niche. This is this is real as it gets. Food and drink niche. You scheduled some posts for two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Which I thought was brilliant because you're leaving. You're going to be out of town. On the cruise, I know this had to have been painful. You had no access to Wi-Fi. I guess you got to your port, your first port, and you're 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 like anybody. You're checking your balances, right? Yeah. Right. And then yeah, so I I, yeah, I logged in. Tell it, and I, tell yeah, yeah. So I, I logged into the website and I was like, or the the AdSense app because I had um I had that app at the at the time and I logged in. And I just kept refreshing it and just like walking it go up and it was like it was like I never made any money from it before, but. Like I was showing people, I'm like sending like texts off to everyone, like, and they're all like sending me phone calls, like, how are you making this money? Like, I want to do this too. And I, I was just shocked because it, it turned out to be like a really good way. I just had to give the time and the consistency. And since, you know, at the be at that time, I was like a, a person who liked to always switch things up, like go to this, do this, like always switching between stuff. And I'm, and the fact that I had to schedule the posts out for two weeks and just let it sit on its own without me touching it made it work and that's what really that's why i just kept doing and stay consistent with what was working and you know it works it worked over and over again and we're going to get to that in the next few slides but it just kept working and it was working for other people i was working with and all i really did was just copy them and um and you know it, it did a really good job yeah i love it i love it look what and I'm just going to continue with the story, you guys. So Brandon had to figure out why he was getting so much traffic from what seemed to be out of nowhere. He was in his Google Analytics, right, mapping where everything's coming from. And after a little bit of research, didn't take him long that he figured out that Pinterest was driving lots and lots of clicks, thousands of clicks, right, within just a few days. So I ask all of you, right, how can you replicate these results? in your own business, right? How can you do the same thing? How do we adopt this strategy? Um, so today, it's not scalable, um, completely free traffic sources, you don't have one, right? Your clicks are earning pretty much nothing. There was a great comment and we'll come back to him uh, earlier. He has lots of clicks, but he's not earning with it. He doesn't have new leads, new buyers. How do we go from that in a matter of weeks not overnight, guys, in a matter of weeks to having a platform where you can sell what you want, when you want, and actually make money on the clicks, right? And that, that's part of the key. So the strategy, and we're just going to tell you, right? We're going to give it high level to you right now. Build a website. You can do it in WordPress. You can post free content to attract visitors, right? Now, you're not going to attract a ton of visitors. However, this is part one. Part two, you need the traffic. Syndicate your content to Pinterest and get this stream of clicks that ideally will grow exponentially. So it's if you think of a triangle, you've got the website, you've got the traffic from Pinterest, and the third, uh, the third side is the monetization. And whether you choose to kind of echo what Brandon's doing, which is ads, or some other methods, and you can see them, you put these strategies together, it just plain works. So Let's talk about it. Building your website, right? And a lot of you guys know Meredith, who's on the Instant Reply team. She uh, is interested in allergy, allergy-related products and, and reading and discussion. So sometime in February, mid-February, she started making a little blog site, a little, a simple site. And now she has no experience as a programmer, developer, author, I don't, I don't, this isn't her, her background, right? And you can see the different posts, 15 minute cheat pan nachos. Um, this free content though, guys, on the site is critical. So that's, that's part one, right? We got the traffic part. So with Pinterest, You've got this traffic, the same quality, if not better, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, except it's easier and less competitive to get the traffic. All we're doing 
is posting social media images, right, to the website. That's it. That's all we're doing, right, in its simplest form. And here's a, here's a pictorial example. Each of these images is a pin, which is, in essence, just a post, which receives traffic. Now, the traffic from the pin goes to your website. And this is very elementary, and I'm not, I'm trying to keep it very simple. So you post a pin, an image, and the traffic is routed to your website. That's it. Right? I'm not being complex in any way, shape, or form. You got a website, you got traffic, and then you got a the missing link always is the monetization. So how do you monetize? Well, you got ads. This is the best kind of ads. You're not paying anybody for ads. The best thing here is, right, these ads are going to pay you. Now, you've all heard ads on the radio or TV. Companies actually pay for that space or for those eyeballs so they can get more customers, right? We're familiar with that. We all get it. With technology, it's shifted. Newspaper, radio, TV, now internet. So people are paying for eyeballs in the same way that people advertise in these other mediums. They will pay for advertisement space on your website. How many of you knew that people would pay you for advertising space on your website? Give me a one if it's a yes and a two if it's no. I just want to see where, you know, where people are. That's all. One if it's a yes, two it's no. Mostly ones. Okay, good. Only a couple twos. So yeah, like Dave Garvin said two. So Dave, by putting these ads on, they're willing to pay. It's a small amount of money. They're willing to pay. Now an ad network, all they do, they're middleman, they connect you with advertisers. These are the company, companies are people that want more customers. So you're going to register with an ad network. They're going to find the people to advertise to your site, right? You don't, They're getting the clients for you. Let me put it like that. You don't have to go out and seek out companies that are willing to pay to advertise on your site. And even better, once you paste one line of code in, the ad network is going to rotate advertisers and Brandon, aren't they going to rotate advertisers in a way that makes the most money? Yeah. So the the people the people who are advertising who have you know the best converting products and stuff will show up in in those ad spaces. So especially like in certain niches where you can like make a ton of money because you're promoting pharmaceutical companies or you know these super profitable clicks. So when they click, you make the advertiser is willing to pay you or the ad network first, but ultimately you like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars every time they click. And so you can make a ton of money just by putting the ads in the right places and getting clicks like crazy. I love it. Guys, clicks like crazy. AdSense and media.net are two that Brandon, you like these two. These are two you use out of the gate a lot, right? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So What's the difference of Google AdSense? Uh, Gabriel, this is exactly, this is Google AdSense. This is what we're talking about. One of the examples. Okay. All right. So now what do you need to do to get started getting traffic? Obviously, that's an important part. Without traffic, I don't care how great your site is. I don't care what ad networks you have. The traffic's the key. Well, we know you need a money site. You need a website with the ads, right? You got to have a money site. And here's just an example. What else? Well, you need a traffic source. And we've been talking about Pinterest. And here's one of, one of Brandon's. It's kind of funny, Brandon, you're 17. Do you cook a lot at home or not really? No, but I learned a lot about cooking. <laughs> I bet you did. I was going to ask you that another day. Uh, yeah, I have no doubt. And imagine just now, you're going to laugh at this, you guys. This is a screenshot. I don't know. Is this one site in March of this year or a different year, Brandon? Um, I think it was actually a recent. Um, it was a really recent. Um, yeah, okay. March of this year. Yeah. So 16,000 users. The sessions and users are climbing. Bounce rate's really high. Now, the key is some of those people are bouncing because they're clicking on an ad. Mm -hmm. Some of the people are bouncing because they're just leaving. But that's okay. 
And at the time you took this screenshot, there were 14 people on the money site reading and hopefully clicking, right? Yeah. All right. Darcy's like, Brian, I want the food, the food shots. Okay. So far, we've helped a few. And I say we. And uh, since Brandon's here, I'm going to say Brandon's helped a few of us make a few bucks. And Meredith, who y'all know, right out of the gate, a lot of you know it's not that easy to get hundreds and hundreds of users. 600 and something users right away, right? Boom, like immediately, almost immediately following the model. Nikki, who's also on the Instant Reply team, y'all know Nikki, a lot of you, 480 users, right? Philip. Philip is kind of, he was in a paid beta we did. And Philip, he's traveling. You want to talk about Philip, Brandon, since you're here? I love the 250 a day because that's a pretty big number. Yeah. So in December, he was on, um, he actually had the, you know, I've been, I've been close friends with Philip for a while. Um, and I, and I helped him and I just showed him what we were doing with this. Um, and he didn't have experience with it, but um, he grew a couple of sites just like this. And he was making a couple hundred dollars a day. Um, you know, it fluctuates, but making about $300 or so, 250, somewhere out there, um, you know, as of the month that we took that screenshot. And it, and you can see there that um, he was making money because we scheduled out all the posts and he was on um, he was on vacation, I think during, yeah, during this time. And it was just crazy because we we scheduled it out all, all in advance and he was just making money without having to like do anything while he's on vacation. So he completely shut off his phone and everything and just, he, come, he came home to this and he sent me that screenshot. Crazy. Where's Philip from, uh, Brandon? Um, he's from, uh, Europe. He's, he, uh, he's from, I, I meet all these people on the internet, but, um, yeah, he's from France, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay. So Philip, and then look, I have not made millions, but literally in a few weeks we got a couple hundred bucks, right? A couple hundred bucks, about $350 in two weeks. So that's what really I didn't get excited about 300 bucks. How many of you realize that if I had a site and I'm making just a hundred, two hundred dollars, that I can flip it online, and and I'll and I'll explain it later. But I can flip it online for a couple thousand, right? And that's when I got really excited. So this is uh, our building, and Brandon. Uh, honestly, I will be very transparent. I would not have been able to do this without Brandon at all. So, and of course, um, this is one of your sites on AdSense. Looks like you made 31,000 on this site so far through March. Um, I think that's kind of cool. So guys, when you look at this, Trish said $100 a month would actually pay for the site for, for sure. And, and even less really. Now, massive traffic, right? Within just a few days to a couple weeks. Approved to add networks effortlessly. This is some stuff that Brandon's kind of gotten down. Traffic first month, revenue month two. Make month one about the traffic, month two about the money, right? All these different things. So the Hayes method is the result of all of your emails, a lot of you on this call, messages, beta groups. And we we built this out. And I'll, I'll be real transparent, and then we're going to answer questions. So it's step-by-step. Step. It's a blueprint. There's a private group for entrepreneurs who want to work together following a proven system. This is Brandon's system for traffic and ads, right? It, it's the triangle that we spoke of. Um, what's important is we've got a simple process. You can have your website running in 20 minutes, right? You can get your traffic up to a thousand page views a day, up to, right? You can get a complete content solution. You will make money. I can't tell you how much, but you will make money for sure within 31 days. I'll just send you your money back if not. I'm positive now that we've done this so many times. So very limited availability because we're, we're doing this as a test of, of our larger goal with this whole offer. Here's what we're going to do today. I don't like that. <laughs> 150 seats we're going to make available. And 
I'm going to give you the link. Vanessa will put it in the uh, chat box for you. But before I do, let me tell you a little bit more. All right. I'm going to tell you a little bit of information. I lost it for a yeah, second. So hazeaccelerator.com slash VIP. Thanks. That's what it looks perfect. like. Yeah. Yep. And, and we have it in, in the Q&A box. Now, let me move on. So what do you get? It's, a th it's very simple. If you're looking for complicated, this isn't it. It's 20 micro modules that walk you through the entire thing, step by step by step. They're very easy to follow. We had great feedback from a beta group and we improve things uh, over and over again. And guys, it's this three-step model and we explain it out in detail, show you how to do it. We give you the syndication secrets, right? It's one thing to have your content published on the internet. It's a whole other thing to have it appear front and center. So we show you a secret on how Brandon's getting his content seen. And this is an important one, how to get your content seen at the front, right? We're gonna show you how to get access to the high converting images and templates. And then a little bit of psychology that we use to get massive numbers of clicks. What else? All right, probably the most important thing is how you can accelerate your profits and skip the hassle of getting approved. For those who've been around and tried this stuff for a while, you know that getting approved with the ad networks isn't always easy. There's there's catches. And fortunately, once Brandon, who's not even 18, he's not 18 today, figured it out, any of you can do it. If you're at least 18. Yeah. And, and the funny thing is, the funny thing is with it is that like um so I actually know the guys who work um at this this ad network company media.net. So I hit them up the, the other day. I'm like, you know, if I send a few people in um under like under ad network, are you, are you okay with it? And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. Um, so you know, everyone's gonna get approved. And um, there's no like a lot of people have issues with site approval, but with our the difference is that we have we can make we can put very profitable ads on your site very easily. All right. So I'm going to tell you a little more, you guys. So checklists, we got it. Live group training, of course. Networking groups for forced accountability. All of these things are critical, okay? Um, we're going to give away early access to the program today at a song. Once the seats are sold today on this webinar, they will not be sold at this price again. I've, we will, of course, sell them, but the price will go up dramatically. So this is a $2,000 training from somebody walking the walk every single day. This is, this is pure gold, right? I don't care. Somebody asked me about niches. It doesn't matter. Health, sleep, internet marketing. I, I did one in finance, travel, fitness, yoga. There's a lot of niches. All right. So three steps, money site, traffic, right? It's very, very simple, right? When you, in the money site, the traffic and the monetization, when you put these together, we show you the formula. We show you how to get people to spend time on your site. We show you what niches are paying the most money. We show you the psychology. We show you everything you need. We help you with ad network approval, right? We've got training calls, everything you need and I know you're thinking, uh, oh, it's $9.97 or three payments of $3.97. No, not for you. It will be, though, I promise, but just not for you guys. So for all of you on this call, you only got this invite if you were a past, uh, current or past customer. And you, you've, you've purchased a few things. We've had a relationship for some amount of time. So we've just knocked in half the price. So you will not pay $9.97, right? you will not pay that at all. So you can get started for $497. You can immediately access the course. Everything's ready to go. You can be up and running within minutes. Absolutely. Now, let me tell you something. What we're also going to do is we're going to add in all kinds of new things. The price is going to go up in just a matter of days to $1,000 for real. And then it's going to go to $2,000 at the end of the summer. So we're going to do some webinars at a thousand and then we're going to immediately move it to 2000 because it's that good. It's really, really good. So I'm going to give you some bonuses. I mentioned the Pinterest templates. We're going to give you all kind of bonuses around templates that you're going to be able to kind of use and just immediately put into action. 
right? You're just going to copy them. Second, our immersion group in Facebook is awesome. Brandon runs it. You're going to get direct access to Brandon and our team in the group. And you're going to be surrounded by other people that are doing it and making it happen. So listen, if you've been wanting to augment what you're doing online with your agency, if you've been looking for what's missing, right? You don't want to miss this because I will sell it, but it will go to 997 with JVs, promise. You will never make the next level if you don't take action. And I'm not going to harp on you too much about that. We want to work with you. We want to hold your hand. We want to help you. You want to know why? Because when we sell this for 2000, I want 100 success stories, 150 of them from all of you. And I want every one of you in exchange for getting a 50% discount right now to give us that success story in 60 days. You're going to short circuit. You're going to shortcut the thousands of dollars that Brandon spent and wasted. And let me tell you, when you're 15 and 16 and you had to earn that money to test things, it's even harder than it is for us, right? Think about it. No reason to go alone. Brandon's making, and I've seen it. I've watched it all year. Tens of thousands of dollars with this strategy. No one ever shares the good stuff. If you always said, I want the good stuff, there's never been anything quite like this. Heck, <laughs> even we made money with it. And uh, I don't even work on this. I got to be honest, at all. It's, it's really cool. Now, I'm going to do one thing for you guys. Anybody that buys on the call today is going to get my founder member bonus. And let me tell you why this is good. And now, if you're paying attention, 17 people left. They just made a colossal mistake. And let me tell you, for all of you that are still here, watch this. We've created the Haze Accelerator. And I, I created this based on feedback from our beta and from, honestly, I know for sure what people need. I'm going to give everybody a month access at no cost. It's What is it? It's a done-for-you service for building your money site out. Because I know that's where you're going to get hung up at. It's where I would get hung up at. It's not just installing WordPress. Let me tell you. No. Yeah, we're going to do the complete technical setup. The web, so the, we're going to do the hosting. We're going to do the WordPress, the domain, the themes, the plugins, the SSL, right? We're going to make sure it loads fast. All the things you need, we're going to do. We're going to manage all of it for you so it's out of the way. Every bit of it. Now it gets good. Next, we have a team of writers, and we've augmented Brandon's original team dramatically. We now have a team of writers and graphic designers, right? We're going to post 30 unique, high-quality articles that meet the ad network criteria each and every month for you. So that's like one a day, right? Every single day. Ready? Next, images. I will tell you, I am graphically challenged. I've said it for years, and, and I still am. Um, if PowerPoint didn't didn't kind of craft slides a little bit, I'd be in a lot of trouble. We've got a team. I, that basically means two. <laughs> two graphic designers who are going to create and post the images for you with the articles to your money site. All right? What else? Every month, we're going to share new traffic sources with you. And we're going to share things that Brandon or I are doing beyond Pinterest. The Pinterest will get you to the numbers we talked about. But we're going to show you how to take it to the next level. And if it's not us, it's professional instructors that we hire and bring in. Right? Since you already have your own money site, you're just going to copy that traffic strategy and amplify how much you're making. Now, you can outsource all this on your own. Right? The content, you'd easily pay $500 a month. The WordPress theme, 50 bucks a site, the plugins, right? Everything you need, you'd start to spend thousands of dollars on all these little things. I promise you, not to mention the time it takes and the hair that you're going to pull trying to get it all to work. Not anymore. We thought of everything. So as we built this out, we took our time. We took like nine months and we tested it and we made sure it worked and worked every single time. So the Hayes Method is available right now to you guys at half off. It's a three-step traffic and monetization program. We show you how to do the money site in a way that you really are going to like. You want to know why? Because with our done for you, we're doing it for you. 
the money side. We're taking the drudgery away. This is the hard part. If you for everybody asking me, what's the hard part? That's the hard part. Right? We're gonna give you the ability to focus on what's fun and what's easy. So why is this important? You're gonna be able to plug into the group, the system, you're gonna get approval to add networks, you're gonna have access to Brandon and our team, and you're gonna have somebody doing all the installation and technical work and posting a unique article every single day. And you're gonna get royalty-free graphics. Um, we're very aware of Getty and places like that. These are royalty-free, right? In a way that you can now build this out and you can do this no matter what you're doing. So almost done and we're gonna move to the questions, you guys. Woo, I get tired. All right, I want to tell you this. I've been making money on the internet since 1994, local since 1996. I've now tested this out for nine months with Brandon here. I've seen him make money. I've watched him do it. I know he has no products. I know he has no email list. I know he has no JVs, no nothing. If you ever just said, look, I need something I can do. I'm, I'm just... I got a day job. I'm a grandmother. I'm this. I'm that. Right. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who. Right. You can do this. All you have to do, plug in, sign up. We've got 20 short training videos. You're going to follow them. Your site is going to be built out for you automatically as you go through the system. It walks you through it. You'll have your own money site. Everything will be ready. This bonus is not available anywhere else at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take questions and then I'm going to tee some over to Brandon and I'm going to try to go through them. I'm going to look at the timestamps. Okay. So any OTOs? No. Uh, Imelda said, Brian, Imelda Pines, I am signing up right now. I want to give a shout out to Imel uh, Imelda. Imelda, where are you from? Uh, I appreciate you being here. Um, and I'll go back on all the slides. Joel said, Brian, what are the OTOs? Joel, there are no OTOs. We have a VIP, a monthly group, but everybody gets access for free for the first month. In the group, we build out, we do all the work. The only thing you have left to do is the Pinterest side. And I promise you, that is the fun part of the whole product. All right, Warren Wu for you, of course, Warren. Um, how many, okay, I'm gonna let Brandon answer this one. Brandon, Lorena said, how many days from today do you think the site can be up? It better be a low number, man. Come on. Days it can be up? How many days for Lorena's site? Oh, oh, like today, yeah. Okay, stop. Today. today, Lorena. Only for you, my wine country friend, your site will be up today. It is 322 on the East Coast today. So next, somebody said, Brian, and I understand this question, I or I, it's a statement, not a question. I can't afford 497. All right. I get it. I get it. All right. I set up a two pay. Let me go to the sales page. I set up a two pay. I I I'm a hundred percent certain. Not not partially. I'm a hundred percent certain that this works and you will make money. Vanessa wanted me to offer like a triple your money back bonus, only because Vanessa was so sure. Now I'm positive. This works. So we set up a two pay. It's 297 for two pay. The one pay is 497. You guys, this is 997 when you go to Ben Atkins webinar. This is 997 when you go to the Sharks. When you go to anybody else's webinar, it's 997. This is for you. Seriously. This is a unique price completely unique price. So there is a one pay and there is a two pay option. And uh, I listen, if you're on this call and you need like an hour, I'm already seeing the questions coming in. I need to move this and do that. Yes, we're going to honor it. If you're on this call, you're important to me. You're important to our <laughs> entire team. So we will honor those kind of requests. However, if you don't buy on this call, I will not honor this price ever again. Fact. I will not honor this price for you if you buy with an affiliate when we do a webinar with them 
or when you buy during our launch online at 1997. I can't do it. I am making it available now to you. All right, next. Okay, there's a really good question. I love this one. Um, can we move the original site to our own hosting? Uh, Brandon, will that break any of the automation if we did that at some point? So the way that we have it is we have it working with our own hosting. Um, so I, I suggest you use that because it's you know it's included. Um, it also has the content and the plugins and it's fast. So I think it's the best way if you just you know stick with the hosting that we have, um, and that'll work best for you. Perfect. Um, Francis said, "Do I need a few days for the registrar to activate the domain name? Do you want to speak to that, Brandon?" Yeah. So you you'll get the you'll get the domain um, in about you know today. Well, depending on what time zone you're in, um, like in the next 24 hours, you'll have all of it set up. So the domain register will be configured. You know, the website will be configured with all of the information that you provide in the form. So you just fill out a form and we, we will make the website for you. Um, we have our we have our team on that and they're going to build it out for you. Put the content up there and, um, you know, the, the content will start one day after you, we build it for you. And so you'll you won't have to worry about waiting days to get it. You'll get it as soon as um, as soon as we can possibly make it, which uh, is normally just a few hours, but um, it can take up to 24 hours. All right, here, uh, let's see, Imelda said, I was born in the Philippines and I currently live in Tucson. So welcome, Imelda, um, and super excited. Okay, listen, um, for sure, Warren. Um, all right, so here's a good question. Do we get a choice of niches to choose from? Do you want to speak to that, Brandon? Sure, so you, we, what we do is we post several different categories, and these categories are in, in health wealth and lifestyle and the reason why you probably heard those three niches before those are really good niches to get massive traffic in a short period of time. um okay no, yeah, so, serious. say yeah, that so, again Brandon, because those niches why did you pick those niches i picked health wealth and lifestyle because those niches work well on first of all any platform but we i chose those specifically because they relate a lot to people and it's really easy to do clickbait but of course you don't have to worry about that because we're going to be posting the, the the topics for you however you can add whatever you want on your website so say, for example, you wanted to do golf. Well, our content is health, wealth, and, and lifestyle. However, you can mix that in with your own content because Pinterest allows you to run multiple niches at one time. And so that's what we talk about in the course is how to take advantage of the fact that we're using these content types that bring in massive traffic immediately. And then that gives you leverage to post your own content and you know affiliate offers and stuff like that. And that's the best way we found to do stuff like promoting other people's products. And stuff. Hey, can I just tell you guys, I had to fill out a review on him. How many of you think when you listen to him that he sounds like he's in 11th grade? 11th grade, I wanna say it again, 11th grade. I had to fill out his review and I had to stop myself from being overly kind. I was like, oh my God, I mean, phenomenal. Yeah, everybody agrees. This dude rocks, said Scott. All right, he sounds 35, said Trish. I agree, like 25 to 30 is what I was saying. I have a website that is currently not being hosted. Can I host it with you? I already signed up. You know what, Kimberly, take it offline and we'll see if we can help you. Uh, Vanessa, maybe you can tee her up. Um, what about the pet niche? And Roger brings up a question. During the pandemic, many people are getting pets for the first time. It seems like um, pets might be a really, really good niche. You know what? I, I agree with you, Roger, but everything, now we designed this pre-pandemic. But it's also based on a couple years, if not longer, of proven monetization. I would say, this is my honest opinion. You're not posting the content. I mean, our team is. Let us just plug into the system, make money with it, and do a second one in the pet niche. And we'll help you. We'll talk about it. But I, I promise you the niches we picked are because... We are 100% sure you will make money with those niches. Some amount of money. I can't tell you how much. Some amount. All right. My favorite question. Jesse, Jesse, I'm going to answer this one instead of Brandon. Jesse, how much, he asks, how much ad budget will this normally cost on average? So I am very happy to tell you the answer to that question is it will cost you nothing. Nothing. You will spend nothing in paid traffic. You will have no ad budget. The ad budget you will have here is inbound revenue to you. So the answer is, I'll write nothing, not, not one penny. All right. Let's see. James Turner, welcome to James Turner. Uh, I'm in. 
Big shout out to Richard as well. Welcome. Does okay, Brandon. When we set up the site for them, does that include helping them on the ad network? And that's David Marlowe. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get you in our ad network that we use, which is I've I've actually found it's better than AdSense. So if you've heard people talk about AdSense, then um, this is honestly a better a better ad network for Pinterest. And we just all we do is you just submit a form and we'll connect you with our ad network, which is media.net. And we'll get you in there without having to go through like a process because we already we can you can skip the process when you when you, um, you know, through our course. And we'll put we'll help you with your ads. We'll teach you how to you know put the ads on your website, where to put them. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. We have the already existing system that already works for that. So um, it makes it a lot easier, and you don't have to worry about it as much. Um, so it's it's you're gonna make money with it um, because we have the ad network already inside of the of the program. All right, here's a question, and you guys, I have to be careful how we answer this. Because there's there's laws around this kind of stuff, but I'm going to answer it delicately. Barry said, Brian, on average, how much will a single site make in a month? I could tell, Brandon, what's the most that you've seen one site make in a month? Uh, the most is like, on the upper end, you have thousands of dollars, like $3,000 a month. I mean, it just varies. It just depends on, okay, the, no, honestly, it's, it's, yeah. 3000 yeah. So Barry? The answer is between zero and 3,000, <laughs> right? That's the truth. Some people will do nothing. Remember, it's a three-prong strategy. We're helping you on two of the three prongs. So realistically, right, in three months, I can give you an average of how much the sites from all of you are making. But today, I can't give you that. I can only tell you what Brandon makes, but that's not really fair, right? I can tell you that I made a few hundred dollars in less than two months on a brand new site. I can tell you that because it's a fact. But in 90 days, I can tell you an average across, you know, 150 sites. I just don't have that number. Will there be a replay, Scott? Yes. Um, Peter, how long? Okay, and I'm going to defer this one to Brandon. Brandon, Peter bought. How long will it take him to go through the course and get running? Um, so... We're going to, we have to build the site for you. You should go ahead and, um, you know, we have that training schedule. Just go ahead and follow the training schedule because we're going to walk everyone through, you know, like a, the, the whole thing step by step. And that's going to be the best way for you to continue working on each part um, at the right time. Um, that's what I would recommend. All right. What is the one prong? For, hey, Francis. Francis in Ottawa says, Brandon, if you're taking care of helping me on the monetization, right, the ad network, and you're helping me on the content and the graphics and the money sought, what do I need to do specifically for me? And it's a good question, Francis. Yeah, good question. So what you need to do is inside of the course, you're going to, if with the done for you accelerator, you're going to skip step one. And step two is setting up the social media, which is really quick. It takes like, I mean, you, everyone here has set up a Facebook account before. So, you know, it's easy. You just register for a, a Pinterest account. And after that, you just uh, set up a scheduler and then it'll just syn uh, syndicate the, the posts out to Pinterest and that's it. So once you got that going, you're done. Yeah. Now we're building one site for you, right? Automated and giving you the content. There are a bunch of you asking about buying more sites and stuff. Um, let me not answer any of that on the call if that's okay. And I'm not trying to duck you. I'm trying to answer you, but just to stay on track. It doesn't mean that I can't come up with a solution, but I need to design a solution that would work. And, and, and it to be fair. Okay. Okay. Forrest said, thank you. Okay. After 30 days of done for you content, is there an option I can continue with the done for you every month? Yes. If you wanted to do that, Evangelos, it would be 197. And you would only want to do that if you're serious. Just in the first 30 days, you're going to have a site with traffic, with content that you're going to start to see money coming in. Now it's going to be small amounts. It's it's going to start out with a penny here and two pennies, and you you have to remember what he said, or I, I restated it for him. It's going to grow geometrically, right? You have to be consistent. Hey, welcome to Brent as well. Welcome to Roger up in Maryland, Roger Weaver. Christy Pepperdine, of course. Um, Brandon, so Francis in Ottawa said, Brian, what would be the results after 14 days? Francis, you are probably not going to be rich in 14 days, but here's what you could probably expect. A website installed, 
content. What else, Brandon? Where do you think he could be in 14 days? Uh, it, it, you're going to be around that range. You're going to be looking at your first viral post. Um, so somewhere around that time, time frame, you're going to have that first thing that's going to kick off and get you a ton of traffic. And then right after that, the ads are going to optimize. And soon later, you're going to, you're going to be having that one post, um, start getting some serious traction in terms of the ad revenue. So realistically, you're going to have a functional up and running site. You're going to have a money site that's generating you revenue, Francis. It just won't be a lot of revenue, realistically. Hey, there's so many questions here, you guys. There's been like 6,000 questions. Can you hit QQQ and repost questions that I didn't get to, please? Okay, while you're doing that, Francis also asked, because I, I, I see his QQQs, Brandon, how long will it take him to go through the training? Um, so the the step one, which is which is um, building the website is the most time consuming part. But since we included the accelerator, it's gonna help you skip um, help you skip that step. And then after that, it's really smooth cruising. So um, I would say there's like an hour to two hours worth of content after that. Um, so it's, it's not gonna take you much time and it won't take you much, it won't, we show you like we click every button that you need to click. So it's gonna be, you, you know, it's gonna be somewhere around that range. Here's a good, a really good question from uh, Lorena. And I, I should have brought this up. It's my fault. Lorena said, if I'm an affiliate for a private product, and let's say ClickBank as an example, can I add can I add that to the site if it's in the same niche so I can make money on that product in addition to the ads? Brad, yes, Brandon, yeah. what do you think about that idea? That's a great way. That I would say first step, get those ads running. And then second step, you know, look at what you can offer in your niche and put ads to that across your website because that's really going to add that extra layer of monetization. Because if you looked at um, my my stats, you could see I was making, you know, I made 80,000 on one ad network, 30,000 on another, and then even, you know, that on another ad network. But also with that ClickBank, I was making a couple hundred dollars a day just sporadically with those sales that I was getting every once in a while on ClickBank. I love it. Okay. But it's, it's, it's a phenomenal idea, Lorena. So, um, what do you mean by being consistent? It's such a good question, Heidi. So we're going to consistently give you content, right? We're going to make your money site. Um, I knew it was Danny. Hey, Danny. We're going to make your money site consistent, Heidi. We're going to make sure you have ad, the ad network stuff so you can get paid, right? It pays you, not us. But you're going to have to make posts on Pinterest. You're going to have to click, 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 share an image with a link back to your site consistently. You're going to have to spend 10, 15 minutes every day doing that. If you do that and stay consistent doing that, you'll find that it pays big dividends. Or if you did it 60, you know, um, if you did it one day a week, every week, you'll still see money, but you'll lose that ge geometric progression. So you need to you need to dabble on the Pinterest side almost every day or have scheduled posts. We get into all of it on the call, but that's the area you need to uh, focus on. Brandon, Kimberly is asking, how many Pinterest accounts will I really need? Do I need one for each money site? Could I have, could I have one account that works on more than one money site? You need, you need one Pinterest account um, for that one website. Um, so that's what I recommend you do because you want to make that first initial site. I want you guys to make as much money as possible that one site. Cause you know, I did multiple sites, but you know, if you just focus on one, it's really easy to scale that to, you know, above a thousand dollars a month. So that's why I recommend, you know, let's stick with one Pinterest account, one website for now, and then we can expand later. If, um, Richard said, can we talk about getting additional sites? We will absolutely talk about it. We'll do it on one of the first training webinars, Richard. Um, I wasn't expect. I knew the question would come up, but I wasn't expecting this many people to ask it. And it's like 50 or 60 people so far. But I, we will have a solution. The answer will be yes, and we'll figure it out. Perfect. Thanks, Brandon. Scott Hall up in New York City, ground zero right now for uh, the coronavirus. And Scott, are you? I hope you're still in New Jersey, man. I don't know if you are or not. But Scott asks, uh, Brandon. What if we already have a media.net account that's approved? Is that good or will that matter? Will that help me? 
Yeah, so instead of going through us, since you're already approved, instead of going through us, what you want to do is, is actually, actually, I would still, um, so in step three of the of the program, we still go through in the monetization part. So still submit that form or send us a ticket and we'll make sure that your site is set up correctly and everything. And then just request it on your own existing account. Um, cause that's fine. Cause a lot of people don't even have that yet. So we want to, we want to help them create an account without any issues, but for you, since you already have an account, you just, you would want to, um, create a new or add a new site to be, um, verified by the, Scott, by you the just want to break team. our process for handling lots of customers. We know how you are, but we'll take it. We'll, we'll, we'll square you up. Okay. Connie asks a good question. And, and I think it's very fair within three months, or she said two to three months, how realistic is it that I can make $500 a month? That's very realistic. That's like my, I would say that's a median or, um, you know, average number that you could, you could make with my, with, um, the, the sites that we follow. And, you know, it's, it's really not hard once you, once you get that first viral post, you know, and I, and I don't think we explained this earlier is that like one viral post is a couple hundred dollars a month. Um, it just depends on how viral it is. Yeah, but we didn't, we didn't say that. I'm yeah. so Connie, we can't guarantee anything, but I think it's fair to say that that's how Brandon from a litmus test decides if a site, if, if the process is working as a number in that general range. Okay. So next question. Um, okay, all the automatic site extra. I want to do extra sites. You can set up as many sites as you want. Um Guys, we don't care. You you have all the training and knowledge. What we're going to have to come up with is a system um, because, you know, we, we've got this. This isn't automated content. It's written by our team. So I can't just tell everybody right now that I'm going to give you. Oh, yeah, I'll give you 10 more sites and stuff because it really does have a human cost. All right. But I'll, I'll get back to you. I promise you on that. I OK. So uh, Brent Marking. Yes. The automatic posting of content and images, yes. Uh, Doug, have you? Okay, here's a good question, Brandon. Um, Doug Stark said, Brandon, have you tried running paid ads to get results faster um, by running ads to your money site, or do you lose the profit on the money site in the cost of the ad? Yeah, so you would lose you lose the profit from um, from because we're getting everything like free traffic, organic free traffic. So. Um, you know, you don't really want to run paid ads because that's going to cost a lot of money and it, it works better for other stuff. Um, organic is the best way to go. All right. Good question, though, Doug. And Trish Trish said, uh, Brandon and Brian, what if you already have a Pinterest account? Well, that's a good thing. So no issue whatsoever. You'd want to use the account you have, Trish. Scott Hall said, of the three things, are we responsible, Brandon, for pinning and repinning? Yeah, so that's going to be that's that third um, that's that third thing that we don't cover is it's the it's the only thing that um, that you'll have to do, which is, you know, setting up that account and, um, you know, making it like warming it up, making it useful and then just setting it up with your website and and pinning your own stuff. So that's really what it's going to be is that you're just going to repin and then pin. Um, it's just a simple I mean, if you can if you know how to use Facebook, you'll know how to use Pinterest. It's, it's extremely easy, you guys. I mean, mindlessly easy. All right. So we got about 15 minutes left in our Q&A. So Clay Tudor, what about redundant posted content between different, like between like Clay, Sue, and Scott as an example? So the answer to that, Clay, is all of the content will be unique. The system we have is generating completely unique articles. And they're not like, they're not automated spun content, if you will. Okay. Uh, let's see. QQQ. Um, oh, oh Sue, uh, Sue, Sue gave me a WWW. I, I, I believe that she had, that was supposed to be three Qs. She said, will we have a login for the website, our website? Of course. Yes. For, okay, Francis, we answered that one. Um, does this only work with WordPress? No. Patrick, however... You can do it with cold fusion. You can do it with pure HTML. It doesn't matter at all. Click funnels. You can, you can build your money site any way you want. Now, in our done for you and the way we're doing it is using WordPress. So, but you don't have to use WordPress at all. Um, what if I decide to cancel the done for you later? 
do I get to keep the website or will you transfer it to us? So yeah, so that's a reasonable question. Of course we would transfer it to you. Uh, Dave Mason, can you partner with someone? Sure, Dave. Um, let's see. And here's a, I, Roger Weaver said, tell folks that the password for this is the same password for any product you may have with AMA family. And that's correct. Vanessa does this snazzy little trick that makes the password the same so you don't have to get a new password. And uh, it's a great idea. Um, any tip for domain choice, Brandon? Anything you would tell people for, from a domain standpoint? How important is the domain naming? You know, funny enough, I've accidentally misspelled a word in one of my domains. And it, you know, I think it made thousands of dollars. Um, and so it, it doesn't matter. You can, like, if you, if you misspell it. And people are not clicking it because of, of the domain name. They're clicking it because they see the image and they think that you have high quality content and they're going to click and read through that high quality content. Um, but I do recommend, you know, go through and we provided a domain name generator in the course area. So go ahead and use that. Um, and that'll help you find a name quickly. No, it's good feedback. Okay. Um, there's another question about admin. Yeah. You'll have access to the site. Yep. Are there, if there are topics we wouldn't want posted, this is Lowell in Atlanta, but we get options to opt out. So yeah, like we've tried to streamline it in certain areas. Um, for instance, with the ad networks, you can't say don't show this ad because you're giving them permission to show ads. But if if there's something that gets posted and, and you didn't want it, Lowell, it'd probably be easier to delete it so we don't we don't have a step in the process, run content by member for review because we'd never get responses back, but you could take it down pretty quick. Um, I don't think we're going to have a problem with that, but hit me up with what you're thinking. Obviously, we, we would want to accommodate. Um, yeah, and, and you can just you can just hide it from, from your website as well. Like if you don't want it on your homepage, you can select which where things show up and you can always keep those sites coming and getting traffic for you, um, you know, just as like links that are not public. I love it. All right. Uh, yeah, Imelda, put in a ticket. We're happy to help you, um, Imelda Pines, on your question. Um, all right. Yeah, Michael St. Marie will take care of you. Um, Vanessa will follow up with you. Yeah, we'll, we got you covered, Michael. Um, okay. On our dome, okay, Scott Howell has a great question, and maybe I wasn't clear. On our own domain, or do you guys actually pick out and pay for a domain as part of the service? So Brandon, you want to talk about that? Yeah, that's included. So we've included the domain name, the logo, the website, um, the, the WordPress installation, the hosting, all of that is included by us, which means that you don't have to pay anything with our accelerator part of it. You just have to go in and fill out that form and um, send us the information you'd want for your site. Uh, what are the chances that I get a 100% ROI? You will get an ROI in the first 30 days, right? You will get a return. Now, remember, there's ROI and then there's, you, you know, what, what kind of return. So being real, I, I am looking at real screenshots every day on my site and Brandon's sites and stuff. And you will make, you will make money. Right. If you follow the steps, if you don't post once on Pinterest, you will not make money. But I promise you that is such a fun experience that you will do it. Um, Catherine Wittich, you are good. I just saw your name, actually. So you're good, Catherine. How can I reserve a slot now? Douglas. Um, yeah, just give us your name. So, Douglas, and, and we'll, we'll save you a spot. Forrest, what is the cost after 30 days? So the program is a one time fee. If you want to continue with us doing all the work on the website, it's $197 in the future. The first month is free. You either love it or you don't ever pay again. But I promise you, <laughs> we've got it down. You'll love it. Can you work local into this model? Gabriel, yes. We'll do a webinar on it. But yes, with certain caveats, to be truthful. Um, what is the ongoing $197 a month for Dave? Um, Dave Ferran. So it's optional, and that is if we're going to build content for you every day of the month, every month with images, and post them to your site, that's the fee. Um, that's that's what you're doing. Um, what word count will be the con – yeah, Brandon, what's a typical size post that we're making right now? A typical word size is about um, 500 words, I would say, somewhere around there. Th that's about how much an article is, somewhere about 
um, 400, 600 words. Yep, Julie Gallagher, uh, Gallagher for sure. Vanessa, double check Julie at 344 and make sure we're good. Um, okay, let's. Mar Mario, New Jersey Mario said, uh, Brian, or actually, this is a better Brandon question. Are you using one Pinterest account for everything? Brandon, you have multiple Pinterest, right? Yeah, so I use one Pinterest account per website. Um, so you, since you're only building one website, you only need one account. Do we set up a business or personal? We go through it in the training, but Brandon, you want to just you yeah. So you create a you'd create a business account, or if you already have a personal account, you would you would um, convert that to a business account because a business account is where you're going to get that maximum amount of traffic. Kevin Raskop, uh, we'll check it for you. Is my site automatically set up? Yes, it gets set up automatically by us, Kevin. Um, but we'll double check for you. Um, yeah, and what All that right. means is that you have to fill out that form um, in the accelerator tab and then fill out that form and then we'll build it for you. Um, and if you want us to build it for you anyways, you can create a create a ticket and we'll fill out that for you. What if we, okay, Darcy said, if I want to sell physical products on the site, how will it fit in? Let me skip it on the call, Darcy, but you can do it. You can absolutely do it the same way you would do a, like a ClickBank uh, affiliate offer. You, you can do it as well. Now, we are not doing that as part of our service, but hypothetically, if you had, let's say the product 100% related to the topic, it was a no-brainer, and you would just make posts and insert, um, we'd have to look at specifically what you're doing to see the best way to do it, but you can do it, of course. You can build in all the different monetization strategies we talked about, but what we really want right now is for everybody to make money and just walk, right? Sign up, fill out the form, let us buy the site, let us get it, everything ready and rocking for you. Just, that's all you have to do. Um, who pays for hosting the website? So it's a good question, Malos. Um, we do. So we host it all. And uh, if you quit, of course, we transfer the domain to you and all that kind of stuff to you. We wanted to keep it as simple as possible. We wanted to eat and remove other fees that often come up because honestly, look, you got to buy a domain name. It's like 10 bucks. You got to get a hosting account. You got to do this. You got to do that. There's a lot of little inexpensive things, but guess what? They all add up. So we wanted to roll it all in and that's kind of the goal. Um, how long does it take to get your login? David Barber, 347. So that's seven, eight minutes ago. If you haven't gotten it in the next five or 10 minutes, let us know and we will we'll run it down for you. Um, Michelle, here's a good question. What does the DFY content look like? For me, I prefer more conservative, family friendly. All of our stuff is G rated. There's no risque kind of content at all. Um, but it's a good, I'm glad you asked that. Nobody else did. It's a very good question. Um, let's see. Uh, Darcy, hang on a second. Um, Brandon, will you speak to Darcy's question about posting videos on Pinterest? Yeah, you can go. We've we've embedded YouTube videos in um, our our websites before, and it's a good way because people will will view it, and then you can retarget those people people later. So if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel, it's the perfect way uh, because YouTube will start showing the video to more people like that. Let me show you guys something. This is one of Meredith's sites that she's getting started. Somebody was asking me to see an example or a few of you. Here's an example. This is just an example site, right? You see different posts. And we had to rebuild this one from scratch. We, anyway, we, we rebuilt this and this is just coming along. But this is an example, right? So if you clicked on one of the articles, look at that. Do you, do you see what I see? Brandon, what are these things in gray right here above the content? <laughs> so those are those are the specific type of ads we use with Pinterest, and a lot of people don't even realize they're ads, and they click on them, um, and we make like three dollars when they click on them. And so what it does is, you can go ahead and click on it if you want. Um, just as an example, but um, actually I don't re recommend you click on your own ads. Um, but if you just click the first page, it basically will show you different different ads in that niche, and um, they make a ton of money. Yeah, so don't click on anything now, but you can see those are the advertisers who are bidding on our website um, to post content, or I mean, ads on, on our website. Francis said, why is there so much work required to support one website that is fed with Pinterest traffic? Um, 
well, we have to write 30 articles a month. We have to get pictures and we have to post them. So that's, you don't have to use our done for you at all. You don't have to do any monthly recurring, you guys. I'm pretty sure that once you do it a few months, you'll be way happier having somebody else do it for you. I, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain. But you don't have to by any means at all. Um, okay. I'm having a, all right. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to share David. Thanks, David Perkins. Um, hang on, you guys. This is, uh, you guys know David. David Perkins. You can see David's uh, face you got on the right. You can see some of his posts. Can your hobby make you rich? Make money with eBay? You can see the various posts he has, you know, right? So cash from your art. Oh, and by the way, a lot of people are asking about saturated niches. Um, like Peter is asking about whether That's niches get saturated. And they don't, they don't get saturated. In fact, the more common the niche is, the better, based on how the algorithm works. So go ahead. You, it's not like SEO where you're looking for those secret small niches. You're looking for those big niches that you can you know, post a lot of content in. All right. So we've got about two minutes officially left, but I got enough questions. If you're willing, you guys, there's still a heck of a lot of people here. I'm going to stay and answer your questions. I want everybody to get the special price if you want it. And if you don't, I want you just to be here and learn. It's totally cool. There's no zero pressure, right? We're trying to answer questions and go through it. I, I Remember, QQQ so I can find your questions. There's a lot of them here. I've got the screen up. Somebody asked me for the link. It's up there. Can I use an automated method to pin stuff to Pinterest? Yes. In church, we'll talk about it in the training, but it's a good question. And Francis, that'll probably make you happy too. Lorena said the value of the done for you is amazing. And I appreciate that. Thank you, Lorena. Um, all right. Mario said, yeah, I, and, and Mario's right. He's laughing when Brandon said, I don't recommend you click on your own ads. Scott, um, Scott Ashball, just hit me up on the Robbie Blanchard question and I'll talk to you about how to do that. Well, we know you weren't going to do the beta Scott Hall. So we only invited, uh, <laughs> we invited doers into the beta. No, I'm teasing. Uh, I probably invited you and you probably missed it. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, all right. Let's see. Yeah, we will have a replay on the call. Um, so Monica, yes. And Rich asked about a Pinterest account for personal or business. So business, and we walked through the how and why, Rich, in the in the training. Richard said, I've got an old seasoned Pinterest site, a personal one, I guess. Does a business account cost any money? And is a new business account better than an old seasoned one? That's such a good question. Uh, Brandon, you want to talk to that? Because I think a lot of people are going to have that situation. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people already have accounts. And, um, you know, what I tell those people in, in the course is if you already have an account that's been warmed up, seasoned, it's really good for a new website. Um, so if you're just getting into this and you already have that seasoned account, like, you know, maybe, you know, maybe your wife or husband or whatever has, you know, a Pinterest account already, just go and use theirs and, and convert it to a business account. And that's, that's like a fast track to, um, getting like snowball effect sort of thing where you already have you already have your your pins distributing on the platform we're gonna go into extra extra time extra minutes right um all right so do we get to pick the niche that we want content yes so yeah herb yes and herb will help you offline i know you're in the beta group um pico said can i do i have to pin myself or can i have my va do the pinning Pico, you're a person. You're after my own heart. Absolutely, have your VA do it. Um, and it's not rocket science. Um, Richard, for sure, we got you covered. Um, do you? Let's see. We answered that. Willie said, "Do we suggest niches?" And we do. Uh, Brandon, do you want to hit the suggested niches that just plain generate money for people? Mm -hmm. So the the ones that work with anything online, especially, is a niche like health, wealth, or lifestyle. And the reason why is because those are late most of what everyone cares about. And it's, and that's the, so if you're wondering about how the niches work, the way that it works is you have, you, you have your website and we post those three different niches on your, on your website. However, you can also mix in whatever else you want. Like you can brand it in a certain way for a certain niche. So for example, let's say your niche was golf. Well, what, what you could do is we would be posting stuff about, you know, healthy diet and also, you know, 
workouts, but also you can mix in, um, you can mix in whatever golf stuff you want as well in there, like golf affiliate products. And so you can choose whatever niche you want. However, we're going to be posting those three categories all on every person's website um, that you have. Yeah. And let me be clear is another good question from Doug. Do you guys do the pinning? We're not doing any of the pinning for you. We're doing the content creation and posting on your WordPress site. We're getting the money site built out and ready to generate revenue. Your side of the coin is the Pinterest side. And we get into it in, in, in minutia level detail, but it's the fun part, you guys. I promise you it's the fun part. You'll never have so much fun as that part of the equation. Um, the, the hard part has always been the content for people, but now that we're covering it, it, it's easy because you just have to do the, the social media part, which everyone knows how to use Facebook. Everyone knows how to use Pinterest, LinkedIn. It's not hard. And it's actually kind of fun because you get to you know, get inspired by stuff or whatever. Kevin asked, what if I wanted one and my wife wanted one? Could we buy one under? Yeah, use a separate email if you could, Kevin. Um, if not, we can figure something out for you. Um, let's see, Michael. Yep. We'll, we'll help you on that. Um, yes. On the CBD thing you were asking about, Michael. Um, okay. Tan said, can we create a brand without branding ourselves? Yes. But we'll, we'll, this is, some of these are more Q and a questions like on a live call, but we can talk about it. Um, can we teach you how to convert your old Pinterest account to a new business account? Yes. Yeah, we that. Fact, yeah. You cover it uh, pretty nicely, I think, Brandon. So mm -hmm. Anthony, you're in good shape on that one. Um, Rich G said, Brian, so does the training go into setup for a complete beginner? I've never used it on Pinterest. Yes. We assume that you've never used the service in your life. So... Um, here's a good question from Francis, Brian or Brandon, how important is the selection of a very good domain name? It's such a good question because a lot of times you think, Hey, I really want, I want like a LA personal injury attorney, right? Great exact match kind of domain name here. It doesn't matter as much as you think. Okay. Doesn't matter as much as you think. We cover that in step one of the training in detail. Um, Jesse has such a good question. I'll let Brandon speak to it. Brandon, Jesse asks, how do you get the ad networks to want to pay for ads? Does the site have to reach a certain amount of activity before they would become interested? That is a really good question, Jesse. So what we do is since we're getting you on our ad network already, you don't like traditionally you would have to wait until you have a lot of traffic coming in before you could actually go to an ad network and get monetized. However, with the way that we have it, um, you can just get signed up to the ad network immediately. So your first click, you're starting to make money from the impressions of those ads. So you don't have to worry at all uh, um, about, you know, having a certain amount of traffic before you get into the ad network. I love it. All right. Eros just said, Brian, I've already got, this is better aimed at you, Brandon. I already have a business Pinterest account that has 129,000 views a month, but no money. Will that help me get going? For sure. And actually you should, you should continue posting um, similar content, you know, related to what you've been posting because you have those boards that have good activity. So you're going to have, you're going to find it easy because what you've been missing from what it sounds like um, is you've been missing the monetization aspect. And since we're providing that monetization aspect for you, now you're going to be able to start making money from that. Normally with that amount of monthly viewers, we're able to generate about $10 a day off of that with our ad network. So you want to make sure you use our ad network because that's going to be the key, you know, to start making money with that. I love it. Scott Hall in New York and New Jersey, the multi uh, residents friend here. Can you time your pins into the future? Can you schedule them? Yes. Can you, can you put a ClickBank or a JVZoo affiliate offer on your website? Sean Nimmons. Yes. We show you uh, exactly how to do JVZoo too. So uh, sure. Peter said, uh, I can't remember where you are, Peter, but I have to go to bed now, but I'll put my request for the site in tomorrow. I'm in and I'm really excited. Robert Fairchild uh, also just joined. Um, okay. Clay Tudor, for sure. You're good. Thank you. Um, Gord, did you talk about potential earnings? Yeah, Gord, um, we'll get the replay out sometime tonight. Um, we'll probably post it to our YouTube channel 
in the spirit of the YouTube giveaway we did today, um, did we talk about potential earnings? We talked about t Brandon, one of his best single single money sites does three or four K. So I said, potentially you're between zero and three and four K, right? Realistically, you're talking a few hundred dollars per site, maybe up to a thousand dollars. And that's not going to be in one day or in a week. You know, it takes a little bit of time, but you're going to see immediate progress on a daily basis. You're going to see new content, new everything. Um, Brandon, here's a good one from Matthew. Any chance that I would get shut down on Pinterest? No, you wouldn't get, um, because, because our, our content is very high quality, you won't get shut down by Pinterest. Um, so that's not an issue. Perkins said, okay, thank you. Um, Perkins said, can I just skip this and pay Brandon more to do it? Uh, no, <laughs> but it's such a good idea. Um, Kim said, or Danny said, can you convert an existing seasoned Pinterest that's been you say, okay, I get it. He's saying, I've used it loosely for contractors. Can I switch it over to be health? It's been around a while. It's aged though. If it's aged, you can switch it over because what you would want to do is just create new boards on that existing account. To clarify, can we have multiple Pinterest accounts from one IP? Yeah, you can have, I wouldn't go over like five. Pinterest is not very strict about it though. Compare, like if you made five accounts with Facebook, they would ban you. But if you make five accounts with Pinterest, they don't ban you. Doug, I have four at my house. Three are mine and one is uh, Rebecca's. Yeah, he said, so if I choose the health niche, are you saying you'll post health content or a mix of health and wealth? Um, you post a mix. It, it's a mix, Richard. It's basically we're just copying exactly what Brandon was doing that's making money. Honestly, I didn't try to reinvent everything. We tried to replicate. Um, Joshua said, Brian, I'm in, this is a no brainer for someone who's super busy like me. I'll buy using this email, but I want to give this for my wife and daughter. Is that okay? Of course, Joshua. Yes. And, uh, let's see, we're going to wrap up. Not sure. Okay. Why is an older account on Pinterest better than a new account? It's not necessarily better. It's just, it's like, Carl, let me, let me put it to you this way. An aged domain name tends to rank better than a new domain, right? It has a level of trust with Pinterest, right? So if you have an account that's been around and been used a lot, then they know you're you're real. But if you have a new account and you just come out and start doing quality content and pinning, that's fine too. There's no issue. Michelle said, how would this help me? I'm somebody who chases shiny objects. This is how it would help you, uh, Michelle, sorry. Um, and I remember you're in Atlanta. Um, you have, to, you have to commit, you have to say, Hey, I'm willing to do this a couple minutes a day. I'm willing to commit. And, and honestly, the part we're leaving you is the fun part. And what's cool is you'll, you'll see incremental progress every day. So I think that might help feed your, your shiny object addiction by giving you quantifiable, measurable progress on a daily basis. Um, but I will be honest with anybody on this call. Don't buy this, please. Don't buy this if you're not willing to spend 10 or 15 minutes a day. If you can spend a few minutes a day, you're really going to love it. If you can't, I would just tell you to skip, okay? Um, somebody said, hey, I got, I got some of the free training uh, that Brandon put out earlier. Is this the same thing? No, it's not. We took that as some of the outline and then flushed it out from there. Um, Trish said, can I use your ads on another site I have hosted elsewhere now? So when you get approved for the ad network, they're basing the approval on the content on that site. Doesn't mean you can't get a different site approved also though, Trish, and it would be okay. Um, yeah, John Green, it's been a good one. We're going to try to wrap up. Um, yeah, well, Danny, we'll talk about the monetization and we'll get into that on the flip side in one of the trainings. Here's a great one, Brandon, from Willie Thomas. Can we pin multiple times a day? Yeah, you can pin. Um, you can pin. I would say probably somewhere between one and five times is a good number to, to pin every single day. Darcy said anybody who wants can pay her and she'll pin like crazy. <laughs> I love it. Um, can we sell, this is the question of the day, Merlin, can we sell the site that you build for us? You want to sell the site on a place like Flippa, Merlin? Say you made, I don't know, four months in and you're making money. 
boom, you can do that. This is a no brainer for someone who's super busy like me. Okay. Sorry, Joshua. We already read that one. Um, so you get the entire system in training, our product, it's 497 one pay or 297 two pay Rafael. We have an optional done for you service where we do a bunch of the work for you. For 30 days, you get it for free. And you can decide if you like it and continue or you can stop and it's totally cool. You're gonna like it though when you see exactly how much stuff you get done. Um, if I only have two Pinterest accounts, can I have 20 money sites? Not, I don't think so. Brandon, can you speak to that? Um, you would want to add you, with one account, you can only add one domain. So that's what I recommend you do is with one of those accounts, add one domain. Uh, could my 13 year old do this by himself? That's a really good question. So Brandon, you started this when you were 15. If somebody had the model to follow, could a, could a ninth grader, eighth, ninth grader go on Pinterest and pin around? Yeah, since we're taking care of the, the tedious and hard part, which is the content, it's going to be easy because we have the hard part done. And now they're, it's now it's going to be fun because they can make the site whatever they want. Like they can build it to be, you know, the thing that like, you know, inspires them to keep doing it every day. So I highly recommend that, um, you know, you consider this because the hard part is done. It's going to give it's going to give your son or daughter a really good way um, to, to, to get into this um, and start making their first money. Yeah, Michelle, and once the Michelle in Atlanta, once this whole pandemic lifts, if you want to come down, have lunch or something, we're happy to kind of sit with you for a few minutes and walk you through it. Um, let's see. Uh, all right. Darcy, um, I'm looking through all these. Yep, I have. Looks like I've given away the five. I've had nine winners so far, the five at the beginning, and we gave away four during the Q&A. So we have one more winner. I think I'm going to pick. Actually, instead of me, Brandon, is there one question that really impressed you and maybe we make that person the winner? That was this a good question? Hmm, let me see. I'll let Brandon I'm look for sure. that. And we'll give out a gift card to one more person. Um, Roger said, those of us who are balding love the toupee, <laughs> right? I I'm with you, Roger. Um, can you sell the, okay, good question from Catherine. Brian, what if I sell my site in 90 days? Can I just swap another one in and have you do the content again? Yes. That's a good question. A really good one, Catherine. You like that one, Brandon? Or Yeah, yeah, I like it. Um, so, Vanessa, let's make Catherine Wittich the winner, another gift card winner. And Herb said, is there a formula? Yeah, like on the deep dive flip us stuff, you guys, I'm not going to get into that live on the call right now, but we will come back in the training and go through it. But it's a good question from Herb. Where do you purchase? So Timothy, if you want to sign up, the link should be on the screen, you guys. It's hazeaccelerator.com slash VIP. Do you recommend that we post on Facebook and other sites outside of Pinterest? We're going to recommend a lot of alternatives, but out of the gate, if you just copy exactly What's working, making thousands and thousands of dollars? It's the best start, I promise. But the answer to that is down the road, yes, Gabriel, but with some kind of caveat. How can we duplicate some of the results Brandon's having? Honestly, Danny, that's the whole point of the product. And it wasn't the point when he started here. We actually started on a whole different mission. And then uh, and then we just we made a pivot based on responses got crazy and the results started getting really, really crazy. Wait a minute, Brandon. So I, this is a new one, I think from Richard. If we posting a mix of health, wealth, and lifestyle, what difference does it make which one we choose? So there, there won't be an option of, of choosing which one you would prefer. All we're doing is we're adding in all of those because that's the combination that works and gets traffic and what I do for my own sites. Um, so you won't get the option of doing it, um, of choosing. Uh, you're just going to get the option of um, of enabling the, the content to come to your site. Um, and that's going to make you money because it's going to do different three different um, niches or three different very, very broad niches that pretty much cover anything. And you can mix your own stuff as well with it. No, Joe Lamans, I don't think I saw your question. Yeah, Joe, you're asking what why would I want to continue the 197 after the free first month? The value is that we're doing all the initial work. We're writing the content, we're creating the images, and we're posting them to your site. 
You don't have to by any means. You can be successful doing that part yourself. We're just giving you a way to avoid paying somebody else. And it gives us a way to employ a bunch of our team. Julie said, Brian, will you be adding to the training new traffic strategies? Yes, that's kind of part of the plan. So let me give you an idea. I'm going to build in an email strategy. And I'm going to build in with Brandon a ClickBank strategy that he's already using. And then the email strategy, I think you'll uh, I think you'll see. Vanessa, check 420 with Catherine, if you could. Yeah, Larry, no, each post is unique. You do not all get the same content, no. Uh, Pico, where do you live? Um, what country do you live in? Brandon, how does, um, how does, uh, pick one or two ad networks? How do they pay? For instance, if, if, if there's no PayPal where Pico lives, they both. So, um, media.net is really good because they use pioneer, which works well in other countries. Yeah. yeah, That works great. So pioneer, pioneer is great. If you live, um, in Europe or Asia or, um, Southeast Asia, anything like that. Um, it's going to work great for you. Um, it works really well with those, um, or I mean, with with all like countries across the world. Whereas PayPal is more strict, so I it's going to be so with um, with Media.net they use Payoneer with AdSense. They they use um, bank account I think um, like wire transfer. So um, so yeah, so those are the good those are the good options and um, yeah, so that's it, you'll be fine with making um, and they'll pay you net thirty, so you get paid once a month. All right, so. Yeah, I just logged in. I have a couple hundred bucks sitting in my Payoneer, which is very good. Um, all right. So last chance. We're going to wrap this up, you guys. We've been on a long time. and there's But there, what's interesting to me, there's still like 250 people here right now. If you're on the fence, haven't bought, have a question, give me a one so we can help you specifically. Um, and it's totally cool if you're just hanging and we're glad to have you. But I want to make sure I answer all the people that are trying to get their questions answered. Yeah, Eros, we can help you on the, the Payoneer. It's really, really. Yeah, we will have a re replay out, Lewis, for sure. <laughs> Michael, I'm going to have to look at that in a minute. I hope you're tongue-in-cheek on that one, but I will check it in one second. Yeah, two of the ad networks, Joeo, that we're using are AdSense, which is obviously by Google, and then Media.net. How many weeks are required for the bulk of the training if we have the accelerator? Francis, you won't need weeks. Today's, what day of the week? Monday? I think you'll be very competent on Wednesday lunch, Francis, realistically. And you'll have you'll be you'll be in the monetization part of this process within 48 hours. Um, now, what's going to happen is as soon as you sign up, you're going to get your site going and we're going to begin. You're going to pick a niche that we're going to buy the domain, set it up, and then we're going to start the content onto the site and we're going to work on getting traffic you know, with you, you're going to work on getting traffic from Pinterest to your site while we build out content a little bit at a time each day. So that has to happen. You got to start walking. And when you get to a certain level, then we're going to start to run. Um, somebody said, could I promote an MLM on Chris on, on the money site? Yes, but it needs to map to the, to the niche, Chris, but yes, there's a good one from Jamie Buck. Is it necessary to change the name of a seasoned Pinterest account to match the niche? If it's if it's um yeah, you can change you can change the name, it won't affect anything. How how fast do ClickBank and AdSense take to pay us? ClickBank has like a two week lag, Raj. Um what about AdSense, Brandon, for the first payout? They're they're net thirty, so all of them pay um once a month at the end of the month. Or at the first of the month, beginning of the month. So I think that's still, I think ClickBank is like net 14, so they pay every 14 days. Somebody said, if I cancel the monthly down the road, um, what happens to the site? So you would be able to transfer it over to your own, you, you would take full control of it, uh, G. Blake, and you could have it moved to your hosting, et cetera. You can absolutely do that. Yeah, you you by no means have to have to use us to do any of this stuff. Is it, Okay, here's a great question from Brent. Is there a way I content to my site myself do i have admin control yes so if you wanted to augment beyond what our team's doing brent yes all right last question last two questions um here's a great one because it's about money i like this question from richard brandon is there a dashboard we can see how much we're earning especially early on even if it's only a few pennies 
Yup, you'll be able to, ref like, like in the beginning, how I told you I had that AdSense app and I was refreshing, same thing. You'll be able to, um, at the end of the every day, see how much you made um, with media.net. And you can also, on AdSense, refresh throughout the day and see how much you're earning. ClickBank runs behind a few hours if you're using ClickBank traffic, but that's gonna be more of an intermediate advanced strategy right out of the gate. I promise you want to replicate exactly what Brandon's doing and not try to change the recipe. Okay. Don't, don't switch out ingredients yet. Uh, how do we choose a domain domain name? How do we best choose a domain name um, that fits health, wealth, or lifestyle? The name won't matter as much, Richard. It really doesn't like in the way that it does in say an organic SEO kind of play. It won't matter as much. Um, yep. We'll have a replay. Uh, I haven't even checked seats. Honestly, you guys, here's what I'm doing. Normally, we would have scarcity. We'd have only a certain amount available. To pull it or raise the price. We did this call, full list, and there's a lot of people here today. And you know what? Rather than play and try to keep up with any of that, I'm going to, when we do the replay, anybody on the call will get access. So for those of you, until I end the call, you'll be able to get all the bonuses. When I end it, We'll, we'll put a replay together and we'll send it out and we'll start putting a limit on everything. Okay, yeah, the content we're producing are not videos. They're articles with photos. It's a good question, Joyo. Yep, and Julie said, look, a good na domain name might help you generate more clicks. Agree, but the strategy itself will be doing a lot of the work for you. I, you got to see it. It just it just works, you guys. It's hard for me to say why. It's It's the synergy, right? It's simplicity really in action. Um, do I get in essence one article a day? Yeah, over the course of a month, Joyo, you would get one article a day. Correct. I love it. Gord said right now AdSense owes me $47. So I make three more dollars they can pay me. Yeah, and the beauty is you're gonna start to be making enough to hit the payment threshold. It won't be an issue, Gord. Um, I remember the first time I was sitting under the threshold, I was very unhappy. Um, awesome. Uh Eros, yes, Eros R and Dot com domain is the main factor. I would agree. Dot com domain is all the money, you guys. It's where you want to be. All right, we're wrapping up. If anybody has any questions before we pull this, thank you very much. If I missed your question right now, give me a QQQ. I, if I can't answer it, I'll have Brandon answer it right now for you. And we're going to wrap up and we're going to service and help everybody else out. So we'll get a replay out. Vanessa will get it out probably later tonight. Um, we will shut this down in a couple days and we're going to raise the price uh, up. We're probably going to do some affiliates in a few weeks and the price will be higher. Somebody keeps asking me and I won't, I won't name who it's one of the D team, um, an extended member of the D team, not a usual member. However, yes, we are going to raise the price. This will be nine ninety seven in three with a three pay option. Um, and it's going to be worth every single penny when you see it. Um, anybody else? I assume you're not repeating content. No. Th hey, Carolyn. No. Um, can we promote affiliate products on the site besides the ads? Yes. Can we use an existing AdSense account? Yes. Great webinar. Great method. I really have some hopes with this. Um, I'll be a great testimonial. Broke old guy makes good. Thanks to Brian and Brandon. Um, that'll be an epic testimonial and I won't name your name, but I love that one. All right. Um, anybody else? Do we have to, okay. Yeah, we go. I don't want to go too much into the strategy on the call, but we share it all. There's nothing held back. Um, Wayne best. You're good. You're good. Wayne best. Um, yep. Gord, we should have it pretty quick. This program is brand new. You're on the first ever call ever, uh, Joyo. No one's ever seen it before. Can you join Paper Call Networks? Yes. Did you say we can become an affiliate and sell this? Yeah, I, I'm open to it, Jesse. Anybody who's a customer, obviously, we're willing to work with you. I know, we, you know we've you know, we known you a long time, of course. Um, thank you, Francis. Thank you, Carolyn, Gerald, everybody. Doug Stark said, that was not me. <laughs> um, I love it. With that being said, the link to buy is on the screen, you guys. It is in the chat box. It is hayesaccelerator.com. If you want in at half price, basically the commission some affiliate would get paid, now's your chance to get in at half price. 
I promise you, you're going to see 40 testimonials coming, and you're going to be shit why I didn't do this. Wow. Brian and them took nine months to put this out. They did all this free training on it. You want to know why? <laughs> you're going to see when you're on the other side. It's really good. We've taken the drudgery out of it. We we're leaving you with the fun part of the business, and I think you're going to really like it. Um, thank you, Joe. Um, and, and I appreciate you and Darcy always and everybody. Um, Monica, if, if there are so many people asking this question, I promise you for everybody, everybody here, I've seen lots and lots of questions. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to work tomorrow with Brandon. We're going to devise a multi-domain name strategy. And we're going to come up with a way to make it work and we're going to make it available for you guys. Okay. We're going to do, we're going to do that. It might take a week, but we will honor that. We will figure it out and you will absolutely have the chance to do that. And I understand why all of you are going to get, I, I could call it a bonus, but I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to sell them on Flippa and you can see what we're doing. I'll, I'll document it. I'll bring on an expert friend of mine that sells sites every week. And you'll see how easy it is. Remember, you're not trying to hit a home run. I don't want you to think about a home run. I want you to think about a single, even a bunt, right? To use baseball metaphor, right? You're not looking for 10000 on one site. You're looking for just a few hundred dollars, right? That's it. And then it's going to start to grow, right? And if you get it to a point where it's making a 1000 net dollars a month, Call it a winner and do another site, okay? You don't have to do it that way. We'll give you lots of different options and choices, but I think you're going to love the hands-free. So a lot of you know I have four kids. My youngest is in fifth grade. She's going to have zero involvement in this. I am seriously thinking, after reading Doug's question about having my 13-year-old and my 15-year-old and my 19-year-old all compete to see who can make the most money. Um, and then the beauty is I'll split the rev I'll split the revenue for them uh, with them when we sell the sites on Flippa. So I have a lot of cool ideas and we'll share them with you. I want to say thank you guys. Appreciate all of you being here. Um, yep, Sue Brown will be the same for you for sure. Um, for everybody, thank you guys. Um, listen, we appreciate you. Have a phenomenal day. And uh, Brandon, thank you. Vanessa, thank you. Everybody yeah, no else, we'll see you on the other side. Brandon, you want to close it out? Anything you want to add? I mean, you, I just think you'll have like, this will be just like something really cool that you haven't seen before. And I know you followed Brian for a while, but this is, this is honestly the real deal. And I can't wait to see you inside of the course. You're going to love it. If you want to meet 17 year old Brandon, you know, I liked it better a few weeks ago when he was still 16, but it still sounds cool. Now I just call him 11th grader, Brandon, but uh, you're going to love it. You guys, I hope to see you on the other side. For everybody else, we will get you a replay. If you decided it didn't make sense, we're, we're, glad you, we're glad you were here the whole time. And there's still a lot of people here that probably didn't buy. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll try it later. Maybe it doesn't fit. It's okay. What I want you to know is we're glad you're here. We really appreciate you being part of the community. You're going to love seeing the testimonials. Remember, don't hold yourself accountable to, I got to do 40,000. Walk. Make a penny, a dime, a quarter, a dollar, right? Start slowly. When you're at a dollar a day, it's $30 a month. When you get to $5 a day, you're at 150 a month, okay? Let's just start slow and don't hold yourself to, don't, don't, don't get stressed on it, okay? You're, you're going to do this. It works. It will work for everybody here. We appreciate you, though. Brandon, thanks, everybody. We'll get the replay out, you guys, but we got to stop this so that the call is uh, good on the replay. Thanks, everybody. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everybody.